You live again. Gino Spot, indeed, tonight is a very, very special night. As you can see, we've got people a little bit, people all over the place here tonight because we've got, we've got a, uh, our, our space is at a premium tonight because we've got 1,016 guests in here. We've got the whole cricket team from the 1980s and 90s in this place, and it's going to be great fun tonight. We've got cricket stories coming out of our ears. Hello, Carol Jacobs. Very cool. Nice to see you online as well. I tell you what, tonight I think um, we, we've already started. We've got the, the we've got a fridge full of beers and and uh, a bit of Fitch and Leeds. I hope that you guys have got something to drink at home there, a little bit of uh, gin and tonic or something to keep you to keep you busy on this. Uh, what is it? Is it oh, we forget it's a Tuesday night. Tonight's Tuesday, same nights as Dallas. Instead of watching Dallas, you can come and watch a bunch of cricketers. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, and also, also obviously, uh, we well, we've got a, a a double this week. We've got tomorrow night. We have um, we've got Athol Trollope on tomorrow night, and Athol is coming to talk. Aita says we must ask him anything you like, anything you want to know. He will talk about tomorrow night. So uh, so if you're keen to have a bit of a political uh, a political bun fight, off we go tomorrow night. We're going to see what's going to happen. But tonight is all about cricket, and uh, and I hope that you guys are are uh, relaxed and at home and having a and feeling nice and uh, and, re and relaxed after a beautiful day today in PE fantastic day we've had a good bit of rain and uh, I think there's been a little rain over the last week in the in the areas that needed rain which is like it's like never happens anymore so I think they, they purposely built the dams in places where it wasn't in the catchment areas uh, Wendy Tompkins Thompson hello nice to see ya as well Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you to our our uh, sponsors, Spar, of course. Spar! Timo Smuts says, oh, like a warm flum. <laughs> the flum's right here to check you out. Yeah, the flum, eh? <laughs> we've, got, we've got the oaks in the back, in, in the back here. We've, we haven't put their mics on yet because they've got to, we, we got to, we're just going to sing our song to get started. But thank you to our sponsors, Spar. Of course, Spar will be, be absolutely fantastic during this lockdown time and now beyond. Lockdown and beyond. And, of course, don't forget, 3rd of September is coming up the the uh, the virtual run which I've been chosen as an ambassador for so make sure you remember that the, the bookings are now open thank you to Fat, Cat, Fat Cats as well we've got some chow that's uh, sitting right next to Merrick Pringle on that side there we've got a bit of chow I don't know if he's going to leave any of any of it for us <laughs> and, um, and and of course uh, uh, Fitch and Leeds always as well as Amubia for our internet thank you guys all right so so tell me where you're watching from tell me what you uh, what you're drinking tell me what you're doing and, uh, and we'll sing you a song in before we get uh, get going with a bit of what you're watching. All right. How's about it? Let me know you where you're watching from. A grizzly, a colo, Bobby Cheatham. It looks like it's going to be great fun. That's right, Brendan Kelly. Good evening, Gino and guest. Should be a good one. Where are you now, Brendan Kelly? Are you traveling again? Because then I'm going to see your wife. Of course, Kathy Marsh, been so looking forward to the show. Short Sullivan, hello Gino and the gents in town are gonna like it. A JP fun fearin's in the house, must be a little fun fearin, that's right. Cause a Mark was always poking around, he's got a lot of family. Hmm. Silvama Contorato, 
That's a nice Italian name. Pew! Bam, baby, burrito, run up a knocky. That's right, some fishermen in the house. Fires keep it nice, he says he never does. Mark Callahan, woo! Family's in the house for the Callahans, looking for the head. You spelled the, this wrong. All right, Mark Wilkinson. That's right, I'm glad you're there, Mike. Nice to see you too, Kathy Marsh, all the way from Humewood. Lovely, man. <laughs> Christoph van der Westeisen. Hello, Christoph. Flam and fire, St. Long's Middelgaard. Groot gevaar. Watch out. That's right. The H heat to six. Every game. Mark Callahan's looking from Cathcott. That's where the Callahan family is, obviously. Sarah Dexton watching from Michigan. How's it, Sarah? Brendan Kelly's at home. That means a quiet night for me. Kim Madison, how you doing? Thank you, Kim. That's right, Carl Barmeister. Woo! Some quickies in the house. That's right. Clearly, you have to be good looking to join the team. <laughs> you have to fly down from Joburg again, Carl. Lizette Host Howell. Dave, my hero. Thelma Jean Broadnorst. From Thelma in Durban. All right, Debbie Kempton Jones. Yes, indeed. I'm also looking forward to the banter. It's going to be great fun. Woo! And I tell you, we've got a nice little party feeling in the house. That's it, but certainly a bit of a reunion tonight. I think the guys haven't seen themselves, seen each other for a while. Keith Clark, lovely to have you as well. I've got a bit of your your punters here in the house. Yeah, they've got some punters next to you there, Mary. We can uh, can pull it out. <laughs> All right. They say, how's it? They say, how's it? And thanks for the punters, Keith Clark. Uh, good evening, checks on the way to a party. On the way to a party already. Greetings from the Nederland. Hello, Tony, Tony Krieger. Nice to see you all the way from Nederland. And uh, Brent Bjorn Kops. Is it Bjorn? Are you phoning from Sweden? Is it how's it, gents? Indeed. Brent, nice to see you too. And uh, oh, hello, Mayuru K. Hello, Windy PE. That's right, baby. Windy Gagabecha. And, uh, oh, cricket, lovely cricket indeed. We are going to be talking all about cricket tonight. But before we do that, we have our, our usual watch a watching tonight, which is it's, uh, Darren Fuller comes on and tells us what we should be doing, what we should be checking out on Netflix and Amazon Prime and Disney, I believe. Let's, uh, let's say how's it to Darren Fuller. Oh, there we go, Darren. We've got a new intro for Hi. you. See that? Hi. Huh? Hello. What? A new, a, a new introduction for you. Did you see that? Oh, I know. I feel like a news yes. presenter. I uh, know. <laughs> I feel like I should have a billboard somewhere. That uh, would no, be very you should. cool. It's lovely Can to I? see you again. We, we you haven't been on for a while, and, and it's great to have a watch watching again. I know. It's lovely to see you. Um, hello, esteemed cricket gentlemen as well. Hello. <laughs> lovely They're to see you. They're all waving. <laughs> Okay, well, so, well tell us what we should be watching then, uh, Darren. Yeah, so, hi, guys. Sorry that I've been um, very absent. Um, obviously, I have a lot of uh, things to report on. Um, here, letting my nerd flag fly, this is the ring of power. It's the precious. It has Elvin, Elvin writing on it. Anyway, okay, so on Netflix, um, recently, I watched, um, it's, uh, it's a brand new film to Netflix. It's called The Perfect Pairing. Um, everyone knows that I'm quite fond of wine um, and, and a good rom-com and a good murder. But this is a rom-com. So it's about this American uh, woman who works for this company and they bring in big clients and she wants to bring in this fancy Australian wine to America. And somehow through hijinks, she ends up getting fired. She goes to Australia herself to stalk the people who have the wine farm and she ends up working on an Australian farm and there's a sheep that's called Barbara which is just so adorable I think you should watch it just for that but obviously guys it's lovely it's set in Australia there's wine um there's there are a few sheep quite a few sheep it's very sweet and if you like wine you will really enjoy that then um so I haven't finished this yet but I started watching The Lincoln Lawyer which is really really good it's based on a set of books which was a film I think beginning of the 2000s with Matthew McConaughey um, as the protagonist but The Lincoln Lawyer is just really fantastic it's about this incredibly smart lawyer 
gene ass, total gene ass, and um, he has an accident, and then he he's finding it difficult to get back into the law. But then inexplicably, uh, someone who knew him perishes and somehow left his entire law firm to him. And the reason they call him the Lincoln lawyer is because he likes being driven around in his Lincoln, and that's where he solves crimes. Very good. It's very beguiling. There's lots of storylines. There's a murder plot. Very, very good. Then on Amazon Prime, I watched Nine Perfect Strangers, which is also another series. Um, it's based on a book, which after watching the series, I absolutely have to find. Actually, I think I've ordered it. So Nine Perfect Strangers, it has quite a good uh, cast um, led by Nicole Kidman. Uh, it's about this really mysterious health spa out in the middle of nowhere. And you you can't even really get an invite. You can't actually apply to go there. She will invite you. It's very mysterious. Anyway, so nine perfect strangers get invited to this health spa that Nicole Kidman is running. And let's just say she has some unorthodox methods to get you healthy. It's really, it's quite fascinating. It's really it's really well done and excellently acted and you will not see anything coming <laughs> really good nine perfect strangers okay so i have a lot and i know there's a lot happening tonight so i'll try and rush through this um i don't know if anyone has watched moon knight which is also uh, yet another marvel series that is on disney if you haven't watched it please do yourself a favor and watch it. I know some people that have spoken to found it a little bit too weird but when is marvel normal Really? So Moon Knight is Oscar Isaac. It's about this um, quite shy British um, museum worker called Stephen Grant who loses time and he doesn't. He ends up in weird situations and he doesn't know what's happened. Um, I don't want to spoil too much. But after that, obviously, it's Marvel, guys. There's superheroes. There's fighting. It's Egypt. It's so cool. It's fantastic. And Oscar Isaac is in it from, you know, the latest Star Wars. So watch that. Then... Kenobi is coming out at the end of May. A whole series about Obi-Wan Kenobi in between, um, you know, uh, Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. So when he's wandering, you know, the hills of Tatooine, very good. Obviously, Hugh and McGregor is going to be Obi-Wan Kenobi. Very excited about that, guys. Flying my Star Wars flag. Very high. And then senior year um, just started, I think, a week or two ago on Netflix with Rebel Wilson. Um, about the cheerleader who gets into an accident, falls into a coma, and wakes up 20 years later and is still a 17-year-old mentally, of course. So she uh, goes back to high school to finish up her senior year. I've heard a lot of people say it's a little bit corny and they didn't love it so much. I personally loved it, but I must admit it's really geared towards my exact age i mean all the posters on the wall it's clueless it's bewitched i mean it really is um my era but it's really funny and i just love rebel wilson so it's a very cute comedy doesn't really require much thought but it was very sweet and then uncharted ah okay my last one uncharted so uncharted is based on the video game series with i think nathan drake um and tom holland of you know Spider-Man fame is in the lead role. It's basically just about adventuring and finding lost treasure. And Tom Holland is, I mean, the guy's 25 and he's been working so solidly that he is actually going to retire from acting for a while after this film. And he has so much more money than me. He's so much younger than me. I wish I could do the same. But anyway, Uncharted, fantastic movie. It's Mark Wahlberg as well. So please do watch that. Um, yeah, guys, I've been watching a super uh, amount of things, obviously, but I can't take up this entire show. So please do watch those that I have recommended, and I will come with yet more things next week. Woo! Thank you very much, Sarah and Fuller. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, fantastic to have you on. Lovely to have you again. We Thank all missed you, you a lot. You missed Lovely you to lot. see your face. <laughs> Hello, Darren. Ciao, Darren. All right, we'll see you soon. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. I think our, our mic's on there, Gary. The mics are on for, for you guys. Uh, we have a whole pile of cricketers in this room. And uh, we're going to start off. We're going to start off with a little surprise video for the guys. Uh, which we managed to get from uh, all the way from Brisbane. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mr. Kepler Vessels coming on all the way from Brisbane, I believe, Kepler. Is that where you are at the moment? 
Yes, it is. We've been back in uh, in Brisbane for the last five years or so. So um, I've been wow. working with Cricket Australia doing some match refereeing and we've got a boxing fitness business. So uh, yeah, it's going well. It's going well, thanks. A, a boxing fitness business? You always be into That's that? It. Yeah, we still, still keep trying to punch on with that where we can, but uh, it's getting more difficult as we get older. <laughs> Oh, fantastic! But but uh, Kepler, we we obviously got, we got you on quickly so that we could we could have a chat about the cricket. We've got all your your teammates, your ex teammates here in the in the studio, a whole bunch of them. And um, I I just wanted to find out. I mean, you, you, just before that that EP cricket team, you came back for that for that pretty much for that team um, at at the time. Can you just ex- explain the, uh, what what was going through your head at the, at the time? You you were doing the Windies. You'd just done come off a Windies tour. Yeah, it was uh, a very busy time um, in Australian cricket. I'd been having quite a, a good time, in fact, with the bat, uh, etc., playing against the West Indians. And, and then my last tour was uh, an Ashes tour in England and then played a test match against New Zealand. But it was sort of getting okay. time towards looking beyond cricket as well. And um, yeah. you know, I was looking for a career to try and combine that with cricket. And then an opportunity came up uh, in Port Elizabeth. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I took the opportunity to join um, Eastern Province and uh, the University of Port Elizabeth. And and that's sort of how it came about. Okay, because uh, that, that's it, it. It says a lot about you. Then you, you you're quite a focused chap to to be able to do that. Because I know, I mean, also a lot of sportsmen as well get into that that uh, zone where it's 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 they they do their sport until they cannot do it anymore, and then and then only afterwards they start to think about these things. But you clearly had that kind of goal in your head. Yeah, I mean, the uh, professional sport doesn't last uh, forever. I was heading yeah. towards um, that uh, the 30, 30 age group uh, yeah. type scenario, <laughs> so I had to start thinking ahead. You know, wife with a couple of kids and and a yeah. family to provide for, and so you had to look for some security uh, in the future as well. Yeah, yeah, um, and 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 then so so you came back to to EP then to to uh, to pick up this bunch of riffraff that were <laughs> that were here. I mean, uh, had you sussed out the team before you got there and and seen what you had at just your disposal? I mean, you didn't know the guys at all. Well, it was an easy decision at the end of the day because I could have gone to Transvaal and the Mean Machine or Western Province where yeah. I'd been before, but they were highly successful. They were winning everything. Um, the Eastern Province were coming off a, off a tough time. They'd never won a Curry Cup. They hadn't won a one-day trophy for a while. So it's always easier to go somewhere and build something up and then uh, and yeah. try and keep, be competitive um, in that way. So I was aware of that. Um, I was sort of aware of the ability that was around, um, but I yeah. only really found that out once I arrived. Once you get there, <laughs> and uh, I mean, did did you have any sort of goals for the guys? Did you did you um, any any sort of objectives for 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 what you wanted to do when you when you got here? Absolutely, yeah. I think I had a three year plan in my head, um, and, okay. and to achieve winning trophies within a, a three year period. And uh, fortunately, it started happening a little bit before that, but culminated then into into some really exciting yeah. times um, after a while. But yeah, I had a definite, uh, definite strategy in mind because I knew that, look, if you, if you go somewhere, you give it everything you have and you haven't achieved, achieved something or your yeah. goal within a three-year period, you're probably not going to do it. So um, yeah, that was very yeah, okay. much uh, uppermost in my thoughts. Wow. So, yeah, so you, I mean, you, you knew you had, a, you had a pretty much a time limit as well because, I mean, the, the team hadn't exactly set things alight before you got there as well. You know, they were... They were it's, well, Did what you we see had that to potential. Do, what, yeah, exactly. What we had to do is we we had to find a strategy to win. And um, yeah. once I assessed what we had uh, in terms of ability and capabilities within, within the team, I realised quite quickly that we'd be able to score enough runs. Um, but yeah. I also knew that we had to get wickets to bowl sides out twice. And what we did have, and that some of the other teams didn't, was a uh, a good spin attack. So so yeah. I. I figured if we could pr- produce um, turning pitches, um, get our spinners into the game, make St. George's yeah. Park at that time uh, like a home fortress, um, yeah. we'd have a chance of yeah. competing. And, and that fortunately is exactly how it uh, unfolded. She was. I mean, I, I, to, to have that kind of vision, I, I, you know, I, it must have been. It must have been touch and go sometimes. So what, <laughs> what kind of perc- what kind of percentage chance did you give the guys? I mean, it's... well, I. Because I knew how South African cricket was played at the time and it was all seam-based and it was all based around medium paces and, and quick bowlers, I, I took the New South Wales formula, which was actually the spin formula in Australia, and I applied it to Eastern okay. Province back in 
if that's what happened. So, um, and then initially, um, you know, we're very successful. Uh, people didn't want to yeah. come to St. George's Park. They were getting beaten. They couldn't deal with the conditions and uh, we were yeah. winning games. And okay. it's all about, as we know, it's about confidence. It's about getting that winning belief, which probably wasn't quite there by, at the time when yeah. I arrived. But, uh, but yeah. we soon got that. And once we started winning matches, um, self-belief came into it. And, uh, yeah, it sort of just un- uh, it went from there. Well, was that was that part of the sort of the culture of the team at the time? Do you have to sort of specifically go to to try and change the culture of what what they were doing before and and what they were doing with you? Yeah, look, what I did was, and uh, I came in, I guess, um, super aggressive, super hard. Um, okay. Uh, try to establish, <laughs> try to establish a, a really strong, really strong discipline. Um, a lot of okay. players bought to that some other players didn't buy into that and then they moved on but i guess that yeah. needed to happen it wasn't yeah. um popular in all quarters as we know but um you know it worked and uh yeah. and once it worked and and the team was successful they bought into it and the younger players who came through and there were a number of them who, who came through yeah. and did exceptionally well um so they bought into that and were successful there we go. Kepler Vessels doing a little bit of an intro for you guys. <laughs> now, uh, we, we're going to bring in we're going to bring in the other camera as well because we've got two cameras here tonight. We've got the couch, which is we will which we'll dub the peanut gallery for now <laughs> with the guys. Uh, but we've got you know, I mean, there's there's eight of us, uh, eight eight of you guys in here tonight. Uh, starting with Flum, I think I think maybe Fires Fires is kind of uh, is is semi co-hosting tonight for his first uh, co-hosting session, and uh, and he certainly had the uh, had the gusto to get the guys together tonight. So maybe you should introduce everybody. I think. Yeah, I was uh, actually trying to work out um, versus thirty years ago, thirty five years ago. I think he was probably eighty four kilograms. <laughs> Seventy two, and I think I was ninety. I was probably one hundred and twenty. <laughs> I remember, you got Before that, Kepler, right? I remember you got that invite once from Tristy inviting you to lose X amount of weight, uh, X amount of kilograms, which I think you did, in fact. Yeah. I think you cut down from 28 beers. It's a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> did you stop eating bread? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, you know, I think what's interesting here is, um, and I think the reason why Flum Kellers and I are sitting here, and I, I know Tim was part of it as well, as was Wolfie. I think Mark and Merrick were still at school. But... If I may say, I think we knew what it was like prior to Kepler's arrival, and yeah. especially in the early days. Yeah. And, um, you know, I think I mentioned it when I was on your show. I mean, even yeah. cricket, with respect, was a bit of a disaster by comparison. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And like Kepler said, he came in hard, he came in aggressive, and those were things that we never had. Yeah. And probably the main reason why we never won anything. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, yeah. I mean, there's so many stories one can tell about how EP cricket was in those days. Yeah. You know, I mean, I can remember, and I think Tim might have played in the game, in fact, in Cape Town. Dennis Broad went to bat, went into bat. Um, I think it was about the fourth opener he used that season. He had his Texan playing in his top pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I think it might have been the late Gavin Fuel walked past and said, we'd like a light. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then, there was another day in Pretoria, and again, I think Tim played in this game, where Wayne Larkins, who was a fantastic I mean, we, we had internationals here. We had all the ingredients. Yeah. But we just couldn't string things together. And I mean, we had Wayne Larkins, we had Peter Woolley, we had Ezra Mosley. Great players. Yeah. And I think there was a lot of off-the-field shit. Yeah. But, um, you know, if I think back to Wayne Larkins, I mean, he had played in the World Cup final in 79, which Swinger and I were fortunate to have watched live. Yeah. And we were playing in Pretoria, and on the Saturday, he made some mates. I think he had got tired of all of us. We couldn't keep up with him. Yeah. And he found some mates in the Berea Rovers, um, or Berea Park pub. Yeah. And on the Monday, <clears throat> we, we were set a target of about 260. Yeah. And he got out at about 2 o'clock. <laughs> and he buggered off. You know, and then Robbie went on to get 97 not out. Peter Woolley had 50-odd. Yeah. yeah. And we were well our way to winning the game. And um, suddenly the heavens opened, the game was called off, and we were all showered and ready to go back to the hotel. Yeah. Somebody said, where's Larky? His kit was lying there, all in the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knew where he was. Yeah. We got back to the hotel and we went and had a meal, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, the late Tom Cunningham said, listen, I'm worried, Larky hasn't been here, his bag's died, we put his bag in the combi. Yeah. And later that night, a couple of us went out, and we walked into Jacqueline's. 
<laughs> yeah. In the far corner, I'll never forget it. He came up with flight of stairs. In the far corner, in his batting boots, <laughs> his whites, his jersey, and his cricket shirt, and his cap in his back pocket. <laughs> it was larky. Didn't you know, his put my kit at the hotel you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's how EP Cricket was played. Yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. You know, <clears throat> it would never have happened in the Kepler era. Um, I think yeah. they had tried his luck a few times. <laughs> Weren't you called Wilkie? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, those early days were, yeah. I mean, I think when I was on the show in my own a couple of months back, and then yes. I remember telling the story about, uh, I think Flum played in the game, Fires would have played in the game, uh, Tim, def- yeah, Tim would have played, and uh, we played, my, actually my first Curry Cup game against uh, Western Province, and yeah. down in Cape Town, and uh, we had a guy by the name of Stuart Story, who at that stage was our coach, okay. Okay. and um, he booked a trip <clears throat> from out by around to the harbour or whatever it is, you know, around the peninsula on the boat and everything. Yes. And uh, we'd followed on. And um, we were like eight down and we had our Dave Brickett and these guys batting and fires batting, batting for their lives. Because, and everybody on the EP side in the changing room was caring for them and shouting for them to, to please stick it out, you know. Yeah. The umpires went for an extra half an hour and they guys batted and batted and batted and eventually when the umpires like, and by that stage, most of the crowd had disappeared. Home, and <laughs> yes. So it was like boring, you Getting know, you're going to lose this. And the umpire said, time, and he flicked the bales off, and there was this almighty cheer in the, in the new <laughs> stadium. It was the EP side. They were just so happy to make it until the Monday. You know? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, those days we played Friday, Saturday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday Fourth off. Day, Sunday. Oh, Monday. wow. Finished on the Monday. So you know wine I mean? trip on the Sunday. Huh? Wine <laughs> trip on the Monday, boat trip on the Monday. You know, that's, that was all about yeah, I remember yeah. clearly. I mean, the main thing was in those days <laughs> was just to make Saturday. Yeah. You know, on the way game, just so you had another night in Cape Town. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you could come back Monday and you could... We lose lunch. by eleven o'clock on a Monday, yeah, but yeah. it's fine. Yeah, we were there, fine. you know. Yeah, we made, fine, we, made yeah. we were there for the actual job. Yeah. Yeah. But it was actually good to finish at eleven o'clock because you fly back in the afternoon. and You could get to work on a Tuesday, you know. Because we all worked. Everyone worked. You know? <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huh? Good point. Yeah, and and, and it's a, yeah, the amateur, the amateur thing. It wasn't that nobody was was paid at that time. Actually, there was, was there any way that you could get any money out of the, out of the cricket or with the sponsorships? Were there anything? Is there anything like that? How did you guys survive? I mean, well, you know, funny enough, I mean. As Dave said, we, we worked, and I mean, there were yeah. a lot of students in the side as yeah. well. Yeah, but uh, to me, it was the old story if you did well, and the, f- the further you went in a competition, yeah, you did get some money. I okay, mean, it was money. a lot of money, yeah. but it was a nice bonus. Put it in perspective money. The yeah. first season I was playing, we were sitting in the dungeon in our change room underneath. Um, the old pavilion. Crusaders, old pavilion. Crusaders, yeah. Old pavilion. And the secretary treasurer was Tony Bendel. Yeah. yeah. And he came in after the end of the season and he had his envelopes. Oh, so <laughs> Mayday! And he went around and be like, oh, it's really funny. 35 and 20. I'm looking at Hey, yo! 15 days of bedroom. <laughs> yeah, it was. At that time, it already was too much. 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 Prize money or, or money that came from the from the EP Cricket Union or whatever it was, I suppose, at that time. Yeah, I, you know, and that's, I mean, if I reflect back on it, I mean, the guys here will probably know a hell of a lot more than me, but I think, again, you go back to Kepler, Mark. Mm. These are the things that he introduced to. Really? And I think one of the fights he had, and I mean, you know, you can correct me if I'm wrong, Yeah. was this issue with TV rights. Oh, yeah. And again, I remember going to one of those cocktail parties at St. George's where you were given an envelope... And this particular evening was, does he gave the envelope? And I got home and I chucked it in the cupboard and about two mornings later, Philip phoned me. Yeah. Philip M. And he said, bust in. <laughs> <laughs> and he opened your envelope. <laughs> and I was shocked. I mean, it was... Big uh, money. Big uh, money. A handsome amount of money by comparison. Yeah. Okay. 500 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Quite a lot more money. <laughs> <right? laughs> I, re- I remember, getting, same thing, if you, yeah. if you won a game... Yeah. You got you got the envelopes, as they're saying. Yeah. And if you won the game, you got 500 bucks. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And if you lost the game, you got 250. Okay. So that, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Being nice and listen, shield, I think it was. Okay, yeah. so Ben's and Edges then used to come and come to the party with a bit of money at least for the for the. You know, you on the night. 
Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Wow. wow. And I mean, yeah. if, 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 you, if you think about it, it's like I mean, you guys spent you know your lives getting your your art, this art of cricket, right? You know, you spent so much time in that, and 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 uh, and and yet you, you, only only well, I suppose that, that all changed once the, <coughs> once the professional thing came well, in. Well, I think Tim raises a good point there. I mean, beer <coughs> would pay you after the game. Yeah. You know, you get your box of smokes. Well, you can't. Oh, you know, you steal them all. <laughs> and they used to drop them off in the beginning of the game. Right? What was it? Yeah. Right? Oh, smokes. In, yeah, you know, the the smokes. Smokes. Yeah. smokes, of course. Yeah. So you get the fans, and then you get um, your payment after the game. Yeah, but remember, game. sorry, Fireball, Pira and I were students, and we were only smokers. <laughs> so we scale all those boxes. Don't worry, you know. You know. Back to varsity, sell them for a bit of money. I'm surprised they're not on the iron line. Yeah, yeah. Sell them for a smoke. Yeah, well, so, smoke. Some of them are sold to others because okay, I need yeah. to be, <laughs> <laughs> I only smoke. But, but there was a there was a particular night in Joburg, and um, there was a day night game on the Wednesday night, and then the following day we were going to Pretoria, yeah, and um, to play a three day game against Northern, and um, there was a big hoo on the field where the rules changed at supper time. So what happened was we bowled first, and there was no time limit set to how many hours you had to bowl your over. Yeah, yeah, okay, and. Supper time suddenly, or 20 minutes before supper, they suddenly said, um, the guy in the tannoy said, um, you've got seven minutes to bowl eight overs, or four minutes to bowl eight <laughs> overs. <clears throat> you know, that wasn't discussed before the game. So yeah. kind of long story short, I'd gone away thinking, well, whether we win or lose, I'm going to have money. And I went away with like 30 bucks in my pocket, yeah. thinking, now, well, I'm, for Pretoria, I've got, I'll get the b and money. Yeah. And Ali Bucket decided not to pay us. <laughs> and I'll never forget, there was this big meeting in the... We played Western Province in that it was a semi-final at the Wanderers um, in those days because yeah. they had the better lights. Okay. That's where the semi-finals were played in the final. Okay, yeah, so B and H was all in lights because it was like the yeah. thing, it was day night games. And, yeah. um, I remember standing at the door there and I was a I didn't have much say in this. It was Peter Willie driving it, Peter Kirsten I think was had quite a bit to say for Western Province. As a pro cricketer he had a right to do that. And there were a couple of other big names in the Western Province side, and Peter Woolley sat there and he said to Dr. Bacher, or Ali Bacher, he said, you're a shit doctor, you're a shit cricketer, and you're a shit administrator. <laughs> and needless to say, we didn't get any money. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> that was eventually resolved a couple of months later, and we got, okay. we came second, we lost in the last over, I think we needed 10 to win, or 8 to win. Yo. And Graham Boots pulled the last over, and we couldn't get it over, we couldn't get the runs, but three months later, there came this little... Okay, extra okay. check. Being right. resolved now. Uh, all right. Wow, yeah, but I think, I mean, if you think in those early days, I mean, I remember at one stage having a choice of either, because I, when I went off to the army and came back, yeah. I couldn't get back into the EP side. Yeah, know, okay, like, right. I got flow in front of me and I had Rashi, uh, it sort of moved into the team and yes. Cam and all these guys. And I was I was getting played in the sort of one days and that type of thing. Okay. But I, at the same time, I was playing a bit of rugby. Yeah. And I was getting 400 rand a match. <laughs> for rugby? For rugby, playing for dispatch. <laughs> and it was an amateur sport. <laughs> and it was an amateur sport, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was getting 100 rand a day <laughs> for EP playing a professional sport. <laughs> yes. So you know, I was quite keen to move on and play rugby. So you saw my Donnie just feel off? Yeah, yeah. The dispatch Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what happened was, Kepler was the one that came to me and he said to me, no, no, the things have to change. The things are going to change next year. We're going to put everyone on proper contracts. Okay. And, um, you know, and, 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 they told us it's sort of, you know, plus minus what we were getting. And obviously Mark's dad had, was involved with the administration yes. there. So things started to move quite quickly in that, in that era, you okay. know. And we started getting proper administrators, pro, yeah, proper, administrators, proper right. money. Um, or when I say full, yeah. in comparison to what we were earning. Uh, I presume and that, that's how the whole thing changed. Was the Australian model in that, you, that you used yeah. here? Well, I'll, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm actually <laughs> quite proud to tell you that, and thanks to you, Kepler, and whoever else, and your dad, yeah, Colin Rushby. After two seasons, when things changed, we bought a house in River Road and paid well, very close to paying cash for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I put all my money away. Yeah. Um, unlike some folks who used to take their prize money after every beer that's yeah. paid. Well, what you used to do is wanton woman and song and booze. Yeah. <laughs> you know, to me, do you know that sitting between you and I, do you know, are the two oaks who made hundreds on debut, first class centuries really? on debut? 173? Jeez. 171. Do you study all the stuff? I don't remember. No, I just remember. <laughs> I had a good day. That's all I remember. I did on debut. Yeah. Yeah. Second in. Yeah. Kellers, you made a, 
hundred in your debut against the SA Defence Force. Yeah, SA Defence. The wicket was 23 yards. <laughs> 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 I remember watching the Oaks were hooking his remotely up. That's a good player. Well, the pitch was too long. Too long. Yeah, it's a good piece. Kelly's now spoke about that the other day. And at that stage, Moses was spending quite a lot of time in the house and he came and he said, Jeez, I thought he was talking, I, I thought it was you, but he yeah. said, Jeez, that's better you look slow. <laughs> so much time. It was right, Pino. And I think it might have been his first game as well, or one of his very first games, and he thought, Jeez, I know I didn't do too well here today, but then it was discovered that the pitch was yeah. too long. No, I was thinking, obviously, I was thinking, jeez, I mean, what's first class cricket? This is easy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, on the, after the game, I measured the pitch 23 years. <laughs> 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 your anger was against the top, wasn't it? Correct. It was the first innings or second? Second innings. Okay. First innings was 70 odd. Oh, no. Gail Bristol came to us afterwards and I worked out Michael 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 Michael
Paddy, go to the team. Is that your cricket kit behind you? That's my cricket That's my kit for my new for career. My new career. Ah. Over here, they play yeah, cricket. They play cricket. Until they're old. Until they're old. There's, an over there's an over 50s league, 50s league. there's over there's 60s league, and there's even an over 70s league. 70s league. Yes! yes. Jeez, even Pops hey, could play it. <laughs> I'd like to see that bat. Are there any marks in the middle? Uh, that bat has uh, faced two balls. Two balls. <laughs> First was a single, <laughs> second was a six <laughs> straight out of the side screen last year. <laughs> last year <laughs> <to the season. laughs> Did they stop you from playing after that, or <laughs> no, that was the end of the season. You still got him. You still got him. Yeah, but not anymore. No, my shoulders um, finally, I think, giving up. So. <laughs> Too much laptop work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what what are you bet over? Uh, no, down the bottom fires. Normal. Okay. You must be captain then, Obis. Are you starting to feel him, Obis? No. <laughs> <laughs> Were you burning yourself, Obis? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm still trying, Bob, but I'm finished. I'm finished. Obis Kadovis. Obis Kadovis. So the batting is still clearly a bit on, though, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> still, you, can still, you can still check that ball. That's what you call a good strike rate, eh? Yeah. yeah. Two two balls. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Callas, but your, your, under, your, your over 50s team is, team is in no team danger team of having any supplements on this side, I can assure you. <laughs> 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 All right, excellent, Obis. Okay, we, we'll we'll put you backstage, but uh, and and then we'll we, we can bring you on later. But uh, feel free to watch backstage and wave wave madly if you want to say something, and oh, Gary will oh, spot oh, you. Oh. <laughs> you got, you know, here we go. <laughs> All right, so if I may just go back to where we were, we were actually trying to work out why EP couldn't win anything. Brian yeah. kept us around. Yeah, and um, I think we've pretty Too much, much drinking and smoking clearly. Well, and not enough running up and down Brickmaker's Club. No, I'm just focusing on the wrong things, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we had the fuzz, great players. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, that's great quality. Yeah. All our years, Chris Wilkins, yeah. Simon the Sabres. Well, we're we hopefully going to, Gina's going to ask Pops about that. I yeah. mean, as you rightly yeah. say, Russia, yeah. he's a Tony Greig player, yeah. The yeah. late Tony yeah. Greig, the yeah. Pollock brothers, Dassey Briggs, Arthur Short. And I, I remember, uh, you know, uh, as youngsters, always cr cricket. The the, the the club cricket that we've spoken about before. The club cricket was very strong, very strong in, in the Eastern Cape as well. So yeah. so the guys were playing for Warmer Country Club. They were playing for you know the the, the other bank or whatever the guys. And, and the Oaks were they were strong teams. You know, there was a strong league on the go. Is is it still the case or, or, or not? I mean, I don't know. How, how is the club cricket at the moment? I don't know if you guys. Callas will know. He still plays. He <laughs> <laughs> still play, but no, I played. I haven't played this last this last year. But I, I mean, the, the club cricket is still it's not as good as it was in the, yeah, in no, the that time. Yeah. Um, and and generally, the main reason is facilities are not great. Yeah, um, that's one of the things. Um, and then on top of that, uh, none of your prov provincial players play in the league. They, they very seldom play in the league. Yes, it's the thing, yeah, yeah. So yeah. once you've got a contract and you feel like you've made it, you move on and you don't really yeah. go back to, to, to the club. I'm yeah. hoping that with the new setup that they've made now, that there's an EP team again, uh, yeah. EP Warriors, if you want to call it yeah, that, yeah. It's, it's, and, and there's a border side, that uh, there's no EPB as such. Okay, uh -huh. so a lot of those guys have moved back into the league. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it sort of uh, it brought it down a little bit in the, in the amount of cricketers. Um, yeah, yeah. That, that can play, uh, you only only allowed to contract 20 players anyway. Okay. So 16 players and then four, uh, four what they call academy players or whatever it is. So okay. it's 20 contracted players. So some of those guys have to play in the league, but still it's hard to get them back to okay. play in the league, you know. And yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that's the, the big issue. And there's still only, there's too many league sides, um, mm. but there are still four or five, you know, reasonable sides in the league that when they play against each other, yeah. it's quite competitive. Okay, because uh, I mean, it, it makes sense to me that the, that the school cricket then should be actually strong. And I know that we, I, I watched a game with the, with all of your, uh, Mark, a whole bunch of your family playing there at Ashford, Ashford in Plate. I mean, yeah, it was St game. Andrews and and. Uh, well, and, St. Francis versus, versus, versus Yes, yeah, 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 St. Yeah, Francis yeah. versus Blit or something. Yeah, yeah. But what a great game it was. And, and um, you know, it was it was a strong team. So I think that the, the school, certainly the school rugby has always been very strong, but but uh, I reckon the school cricket uh, is, is got to step in that 
get in that stop gap, you know. Yeah, we got a good. I mean, we still got we still produce good cricketers. Unfortunately, yeah. we don't keep them. That's yeah. as simple as yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of the guys that play to matric level and then they move on and they and I said, we've got quite a few guys that have gone to Stellenbosch. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm just talking. About, you know, go to Stellenbosch. A lot of St Andrews and great kids that have you know you know get to SA schools and all that. They end up going to Stellenbosch and, and playing there and then give it up after a year or two. Yeah. You know, because obviously studies is important this year. Yeah. I mean, the one thing about the system now is that there's not guys hanging around in the system for too long. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, they work out very quickly that study is important and they move <laughs> on and they study. Yeah. Or they become a professional cricketer. So yeah. the guys that hang around in the B-side for two, four years and then obviously get an opportunity, there are not many of them around. Because, yeah. I mean, the guys work out that okay. I'm, I'm, not, I'm out the system or I'm in the system. But okay. on a more serious note, <coughs> I'll never forget one night in Pretoria. It must have been about 12, 13. In fact, Tim, I've got this... Funny little feeling you in my mind that you, you and I were roomies. <laughs> Flummy <laughs> bounding the room at about 12.30. <laughs> ba 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 on the door. I got up, opened the door. And he bounded in there straight to the phone and he ordered a whole of the beers. <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit of a fireball. A little bit of a fireball. A little bit of a fireball. A and Flum was really boisterous and happy, and I think he had obviously got a hundred that day, or done very well. And um, Flum he said to the guy, Vietje V. Eckes, he realized he was an Afrikaans waiter. And I stood there, he was quivering, he said, in the other one. And Flum he said, um, Eckes Quinnen Flummy. And the like, said, hello, Quinnen. And um, Flum he said, took a sip, beers were there. Piston, have a beer, have a beer, Tim. And um, he said, No more to screw so hard as what you can. Das net in Quinnen and it's Quinnen flummy. I promise he was quivering in his little white jacket there. He's all Afrikaans, so he probably just out of school. And he, with his quivering voice, he said, Das net in Quinnen and it's Quinnen fluffy. <laughs> he picked him up, I promise you, he picked him up and he like dangled him out the window on the floor. Because <laughs> he didn't get the flummy right. <laughs> oh, <it's fluffy. laughs> no, no. I see the comments, the comments are coming out here thick and fast. You know, Brandon Clark saying you should wake Rod up down there in Oz. That's Rod McCurdy. Yeah, we, now, we, we happen to have a few little comments from Rod, uh, so let, let's let's have a look at this. Like anyone's career is obviously winning a Curry Cup, you know, and to be part of that team that managed to win it. And uh, Mike, I saw the picture you popped up today, certainly a plenty of talent in that side. And a lot of guys went on to play for the Springboks. Also had a couple of other internationals and Greg Thomas uh, for two years. Johnny Maguire, what a great servant he was. Him and Tim Shaw, didn't they do a great job tying up the end and keeping the pressure on? And uh, they certainly fantastic and also myself and Kepler uh, played international cricket <laughs> That's oh, no, no. like his wife's calling him on the radio <laughs> 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 Donna just got over COVID I think Donna's still struggling okay, uh, okay. He's but he's, yeah, so he's over in Oz uh, we've got a couple of we've got a couple of messages from, from Rod so we'll slot one in every now and again and, uh, and I think we've got another one from Kepler, which we'll, we'll, we'll bring up a little bit later too. I think that'll be fun. I don't know if you want to do one from... Uh, uh, just do a Rod. Just do a Rod. another one from Rod. My favourites are room with him for the first two years that I played for Eastern Province. He had a bit of a bowel problem. Couldn't line up the seat properly. He kept getting uh, hitting the back of it all the time. So I had to move on from him. Keller, Keller Horsey, as we called him. He's another champion. But I moved on to Flum Mikko because he could line it up properly. He wouldn't miss the ball. Good on you, Flum. <laughs> I wouldn't miss the ball. <laughs> I didn't realise he had a bit of a bowel problem. I don't know if this is just like a, a big story, this one. The story of the, bow, the bowels. No, no, we'll leave that one. Oh, we'll it's leave a that family out. show. Okay, right. <laughs> 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 but, I mean, no. you, you guys, you guys obviously toured together a lot as well. I mean, you go and, and, and you get to know each other. It's like, it, it must have been, uh, there's obviously friction as well and fights and st stuff too, I'm, I'm sure. But, um, but like, you, you end up with, a, with like a, a band of brothers, you know? I, I, I'm, can I say, I'm yeah. a, often asked, who's the greatest character you ever played? Yeah. And it has to be a guy like Rob McQueen. Really yeah. sure. You know, he brought a lot of fun. And remember, he cricket's played over like four days. And yeah. It's a long time. You need light talk of guys in the yes. team and that sort of thing. And Rob just kept us entertained all the time. <laughs> he was a real character. And uh, we, we all came from different walks of life. And yeah. He came to this team situation. And yeah, he, he 
great. And it's good to hear from him. Down there. Yeah, no, for sure. He sounds like he's doing nicely he's there. The role character of the game. You know, you, you asked here, yeah, great, very much so, Rashi. You asked a good question there. I mean, and I can't recall there ever being any friction in that side amongst this group. No, no, and, and, no, I mean, let's also... Except Kepler. But what I'm saying is, he, I mean, let's face it, Kepler, I mean, we got... Yeah, we used to fight points. with him all the time. So used to, <laughs> you remember when we used to do the fitness? He used to... Oh, just say, just go go a few times. Yeah, oh, yeah. and he used to say to Brett Schultz, uh, what's his name? Brett Schultz? Uh, Schultz, what's his name? Uh, the Neil, the fitness Neil guy. Neil Schultz. Neil Schultz. Yeah. Yeah. We used to bitch and moan about Neil Schultz. And meanwhile, Kepler had given... And he used to bitch and moan. And meanwhile, Kepler had told Neil Schultz what to do to us. <laughs> and then he would stand with us and go... <coughs> Schultz here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he used to stand at the stairs and go, No pain! No gain! No pain! No gain! <laughs> and then Wolfie took over the race. Oh, and then Wolfie took over. Yeah, he was <laughs> no, but I mean, I think, I think Kepi would have had to have done, done that. He has, there has to be a, a bad cop somewhere in the last... No, uh, definitely. So, I mean, no, no, but it's just... No, but that's where it came from. Yeah. 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 See, I found you definitely there, Brittany. Yes. Yeah. Playing with Brickers. Yeah. My first exposure yeah. was, was with Brickers. Hey, yeah. lovely guy. And he used to have fun and he enjoyed himself. Yeah. But the rules of belonging then were very different to what they became. And okay. that was a struggle because, I mean, Bricks used to arrive at practice and we used to have coat clothing. So it, it used to look a bit like a circus. And <laughs> the press used to say, You're playing like the circus because you are the circus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just one of those purists, you know. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Says, That's it. No press is going to report anymore. You're not allowed to practice. You banned it from practice. Oh, no it's press. Sure. So we yeah. went down to Newlands, we had our first game there. And that Hunts Challenge Cup, mm, yeah. Western Province, and we won. Previous yeah. first time as captain, and I remember yeah. Jeff Dakin walked into the change room and held up the cup. Guys, first of three. Okay. We never won another game. Uh, <laughs> 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 but a lot of things yeah. had to change. Yes. Kepler had to actually go through, yeah. you know, and, and uh, yeah. Yes. Tim was uh, Tim was number three batter in their side. Well, no, I'm batter. Yeah. Yeah, I'm batter. Yeah. 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 Did you? I've got about a 50% strike rate. That's pretty good. Yeah, that was very good. Yeah. Like I said, my very first game, you know, i just come out of school. I made the Natal side, and the game was against Eastern Promise. So we most probably flew Eastern Promise. And we flew in, maybe, with the game flew like Friday, Saturday, Monday. Monday. So we flew in on the Thursday. Booked into the hotel quickly, went for quick practice. You know, it was like, just let's get this practice over with. <laughs> yeah, but the chaps were just clopping them all over the place. Now, this is with Carol Bessel and Tich Smith and Vince Van der Bell and Kenny Cooper and, and that crowd. Vince. But the aim was to get back to the hotel, get dressed, and get off to the, was it the red line? <laughs> red line, <laughs> red line. <laughs> so, the night before the game, we, we spent like four or five hours at the red line. Yeah. And, so, and this was my introduction. Did he survive it? Well, you know, I thought you observed it. I mean, this was kind of my introduction to big cricket. Yeah. And it wasn't a good introduction. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this was the way to go. You know? But it's a cultural Follow thing. Way, you know? yeah. It's a cultural thing. So the rules of belonging is that what you kind of have to do. Yeah. So yeah. You're yeah, yeah. Really like, oh, no, I don't want to belong. I've got to do this. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Like well, it was yeah. no leadership. It reminds me of a team talk that Jeff Cook gave at Newlands one night in about 1980, where he gave his talk and then the late Tom Dean had something to say, and then it went around to the floor. This I get something to say, the next guy got to Bezzy, and Bezzy said, Oaks, can you please hurry up? Joe Park is starting in 10 minutes. <laughs> 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 that explains yeah, what we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, I may just say, you know, a great guy, I mean, probably the most successful opening pair that EP ever had, and I think we all miss him dearly, is our Philly M. Oh, yes. We should actually drink a little toast to Philly. What a wonderful yeah. okay, right? Great guy. Actually, I was, I was thinking of this now, Father. Maybe you can tell the story because Flum made a century and baby. Caleb made a century and baby, although it doesn't really count because it was a 23 meters. It's still in the book. <laughs> it's still in the book. So, no comments. No comments. See, they're still competitive these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what they're going to count. about his debut, and I remember it because um, he actually got picked, up, like, a, I think a game or two before me, and then I played the first one. And I, and I watched on that morning, it was a meme machine. Again, he had some George's Park in the so West Clark was at his best. Yeah. Yes. Wow. And I remember watching, and, and Philly was staying with me yes. at, at my house the night before. He used to come down and, and, and he, 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 no, and he, 
he padded up in the, and I was like, just thankful I was going off the pen and tell B. I was just nervous. <laughs> 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 Peter Barrett's thing. Yo. And Philly actually padded up in the room where he slept for the house and um, helmets on and everything. And so, eventually we had to give him a, a drink and maybe that's all the shit started. <laughs> 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 you know, to calm him down because he was so nervous. And I remember the next morning, um, Philly was feeling short leg, didn't bother. And, and, and Jimmy, Jimmy Cook cooked it, shoulder, well, off, it. carried off. Thanks, Philly. Um, he saved the fall. But he, 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 he made, I think it was um, 51, 44 and out. But Terence, yeah. I protected you when you came out. Yeah, but just and before we get, I mean, you know, if I may say, Philly had a wonderful knowledge of the game, contrary to what a lot of people felt. I mean, I remember seeing this at Merrick. He arrived at St. George's in a white Cortina Bucky. I think he had just left school. <laughs> and With a cow in the back. <laughs> what a cow shit. <laughs> but, <laughs> there was this like, right, the first time a lot of us had ever seen him, and I mean, he had this beautiful action, and Philly came to me and he said, check this out here from Kingswood, he's just left school and I married Pringle, he's going to be a Springbok, I've never forgotten him. Mm-hmm. And Philly knew the game. He it's didn't play for a while, mm-hmm. After, I mean, he made that prediction and maybe three months later you made your debut. <coughs> and there was this, like, with this beautiful action, oh, swinging the ball swing. nicely, mm-hmm. and... King of Swing. Very much so, but <laughs> Philly had this, he, he did have an incredible knowledge of the game, but to go back to what you asked there, Rashi, he was fielding at short leg, Jimmy Cook pulled one and hit Philly on the shoulder. He went off to hospital, and he came back and he batted at seven. And we were in deep trouble. I mean, we were 97 for eight, needing 244 to avoid the follow-on, or 234. And um, I think Moses got 40, Scorps got a couple, 30-odd, and we were still way behind, and I came in at number 11. And Philly said, um, you face um, Alan Cooney and Radford, I'll take Clarky. I thought you said that. No, no, he said that. <laughs> 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 I remember Philly telling me, I'll take Clarky. Um, <laughs> 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 the truth could not have a good story. <laughs> no, but I mean, listen, he, had, I mean, he was hitting him in front of Square then. Yeah. And um, I think he actually made more than 50 in that knock. Might have been closer to 70 on it. Mm-hmm. And we avoided the follow up. And I remember when I went in the bat, chained the late Rob Armitage, sat there padded up thinking, well, this is going to be over in two minutes. And we avoided, I mean, I went in at probably 115 for 124 nine. And Philly took over. And I mean, he played some incredible shit mm-hmm. with his broken shoulder. You bet he didn't I did that day. And you got yeah. that <laughs> <laughs> Most of his captains. But who was your opening partner? Captain or? Philip. Are the green jobs? Are the green jobs? Depends who you're playing against. You know, depends what the wicket was like. And Kepler would move either to opener or to just move down the line. He wouldn't have been the one day. Newlands, you would never open a bat. No, he wouldn't. Philip would have been the one day. 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 Can we, can we stay with the question of Rashi? Who was actually the opening? <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. No, he's, he's the wickets were so flat in St. George's, we all wanted to open. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, we've got, uh, um, we've got Rod's, Rod's intro to Flum. Uh, yes. Well, I don't think he missed out too much. He was a student those days. I think he did seven years to get his BCom. I don't know what normal time is because I can't even spell BCom myself. But Flum was a champion drinker as well. He could really drop those beers in record time. He'd have a beer, a whiskey and a beer. And I was the uh, banker everywhere we went around the country. And I never saw Flum get beat. He was a champ. He could really knock him back. Get on your Flummy. <laughs> Good on you. Yeah, I'd, like to, I'd like to too. What happened with it? What? Yes. So what we used to do? I mean, we've spoken about the money situation. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I think in those days we used to get thirty-seven rand for meals allowance mm-hmm. for the. Wow. For the okay. Yeah. That was your meal allowance. S&T kind of. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And if you, the the problem was thirty-seven rand would get you a carvery downstairs in the hotel. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. And a cool drink. I, no. I don't think you could even get a beer for that amount. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we worked out that Flummy could down a beer in a, in a, in a second. Yeah. Okay. A pint. A whole pint. No. Yeah. So what we decided... So what Maybe we just, I must tell the story. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, carry on, carry on. So we then... I think the first, the first time we did it was uh, in, in Bloemfontein. Yeah. Okay? Okay. And we went to the Grand Hotel in Bloemfontein. And we were all lining up there and next minute Fl- Rod worked out that what he could do is have a down-down competition yeah. with the whole pub. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
And everybody had to put 10 rand on the counter. Yeah. Okay. And you can imagine all those guys there with yeah, their yeah. long socks and their big boots. Oh, so and yeah, they come. Uh, you come and that wrong. sort of thing. And Flum and, and, and Rod had them all lined up. <laughs> like this. There must have been uh, 20 of them all lined up. I didn't ring against all 20. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> yeah. And, and he, we stood there and, fly, and, and Rod would go puppet or whatever it would yes. go and he, they would all whoosh, and Flum would finish and, and the other would sleep. <laughs> and, then, and then he'd take all the money put in his head, <laughs> and then we'd buy around a drink and we sit and Flum would go to the bathroom and get rid of it. <laughs> and, sit there a little bit longer. and about uh, half an hour later, guys, another challenge. And everyone would come up, they'd all line up. Another 200 rand. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Yeah. <laughs> They're talking about contracts and I also had a contract. Yeah. But I'll be honest, I made more money out of my drinking than I did my contract. <laughs> <laughs> I, was a, I was a student. Now <laughs> right, so what happened was, right, in those days they just come back from the well they just finished the the rebel oh. tours, so obviously a lot of yeah. money and you know, yes. whatever they'd earn. And um, Rod would put down on the bar on a bar stool, he'd say, Okay, yeah, let's say five hundred Rand or hundred Rand or whatever. Yeah. And then he refused for me to down unless there was a hundred rand or whatever it was that he put down. Because he was, as he okay. says, he was the banker. Banker. Oh, right. Okay, then, okay, okay. So that's where it started. And then eventually it became my source of income because I'm a student. <laughs> and then every, every beer I'm having, I'm having, it's a free drink. A professional <laughs> drinker. It's a free drink. And I'm getting half the winning. <laughs> and Rod's taking the risk. So Rod, so Rod was also, he was like an so, agent. No, he was an agent. He, he just take, if there was 100, he'd take 50, I'd put 50 in my sky, and then we just off to the next <laughs> one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, it got so bad that even when we landed in Port Elizabeth, we had to go to the Victor, what's that club? Uh, Victoria Park. Victoria Park. We're all yeah, the then I had to go there yeah, and have another couple of Big drinks. Big one. Because the company needed some more money, and I needed some more money. <laughs> so you never lost that <laughs> No, I never lost, but uh, obviously it affected my cricket a bit. You know, kept uh, uh, had, a bit of, you had a bit of a hard time with me. <laughs> it's worth the process. <laughs> I said he's a man of money. Can I ask Merrick to sit here or Tim or yeah, yeah. Wolfie? I think Pops is standing outside. Oh, is he? Is he, is he, is he, is he oh, I can get him. Uh, yeah, and I, I can go and fetch him. Uh, I get Mark. You, Mark, you come and join me here. You yeah, come. You, you come sit here. <laughs> Oh, he's, he's opening we're opening up. We've got uh, we've <laughs> Rashi, you don't have we've to open Kenny. the batting, you can come back. <laughs> <laughs> we've got Kenny McEwen uh, coming in as well. We've got him, uh, I, think, I think, at the gate, hopefully. So uh, that'll be fantastic. I, too. I, I heard a car door closing. Oh, okay. Well, could be. Yeah, could be. Mm. But, um, I mean, uh, those days. It does, oh, okay, so when, when, when Kepler took over, then obviously that was that was kind of driving in a, in a more professional way. When, yeah. when when did it actually go proper pro? I mean, when was it enough for the for the guys to to, to make a living out? Yeah. Uh, I think uh, Kurti was quite instrumental in changing things around there, wasn't yeah. he? Because he he built up the university. Okay, oh, uh, you know, with quite a few players. And I mean, I came here. I wasn't as successful as this chap. I, I was instrumental in getting Tim here. Okay. Could you offer him a five hundred rand bursi? All right. For the year. <laughs> Cheap <Cheaper. laughs> <Cheaper. laughs> That's one. That's one down, down, Wolfie. You should just no, made it. Yeah. 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 So five hundred rand actually covered all it. All your academic fees. No pocket money. No. Okay, well, thankfully you went to drink it too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By, by making the university stronger, it was a... Okay, uh, sure. No, the, the, piece the, I mean, I don't know if you agree with me. But yeah, did sure. you actually play for Natal? Did yeah. you play games for Natal? No, no, no. Oh, oh I, sorry, I thought you mentioned earlier that you played a no. game for Natal. No. no. Mm. So, first, first game... Yeah. Yeah. First game with, with, with Kepler, what, what was what was that? What, what was the first time you guys sort of got going? The first game was against Western Province in a day-night game. Okay. And... I promise you, I'd immediately you know have the game because you know, I remember it well. <laughs> it it rained as the game finished, and it poured with rain. No, the first game was a day night game. I think it was one of those Hunts Cup games okay. at St oh, okay. George's. Okay. And um, it drummed into us the whole week. They, 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 I mean, probably bowl, just bowl. And he had everybody. There was a plan for everybody that we were bowling to, and it actually went very nicely, and we won quite handsomely against Province. Yeah. And. Um, but well, then was days that's Peter Kirsten. Uh, it was probably yeah, 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 I, mean, I still remember going with Pops and Gavin Cowley. My wife and I, we went I think in two cars to to its country. 
Yeah. I was probably jamming there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, driving down Russell Road, pouring with rain. Then the next day, we had a trial at Union. The covers had blown off, thankfully. Okay. And um, nobody wanted to spend two days bowling to keep the colours and rushing because that's what it was going to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tim would have been a right because he bowled off a short runner. Um, what's I'll be the nation. <laughs> 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 last million. Another million. That was the worst thing. Jesus. But yeah, you know, I, just before we move on to the Kepler era, there were other things that um, spring to mind. And you know, you mentioned Stuart's story earlier. And this is where I felt so sorry for Gavin Kelly because Stuart should have been doing Gavin's backroom work. And he wasn't. I mean, Oaks would rock up to Mets as Moses arrived yet. Uh, no, he hasn't arrived. He's on a quick knock. They get there when Moses is there. A lot of the guys, especially the tail enders in the middle, would have said, no, I can't not that into that. <laughs> These notes were taken. <laughs> yeah. you know? But I mean, it was unpleasant. A lot of guys, Brickers never batted. I, I think Gavin used to, or the guys used to arrive early to give him a quick knock. But nobody liked facing Moses. And, yeah. You know? Was that for 18 years <laughs> um, <laughs> That would never have happened in Kepler's era. Yeah. And, I, you know, you move on to when Swinger took over, he at least had a guy like David Trist in the background. Yeah. Who, who set up a lot of the platforms that, the that possibly made life an easier for Kevin. Yeah. Okay. And, and were yeah. non-existent in the Gavin Brickers yeah. era. Was that just his first year when David was, Swinger was captain? I think he was, I think he was yeah. the year no, before. No, he, and then, yeah. Yeah, he started then, with him at the varsity. Yes, yeah. And yeah. then he, yeah. your dad got him across to... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and actually in 85 when Dave Richardson was captain, he did a bloody good job. He yeah, and, he, job. and he started us on, on the path and then he yes. came in. Yes. Yes. Correct. Yeah. But Tristy in the background, I think, helped Swinger a hell of a lot. Swinger was yeah. only about on-field matters. Yeah. Whereas yeah. Gavin perhaps had a lot of off-field stuff. I mean, you you when one out of, in Pretoria, Peter Willie was sent home because he didn't communicate with Flummy. Correct. Because he had a problem with Gavin. Or a problem with whoever. <laughs> You know, so he had polarised, he was trying to sort of polarise people and he was trying to create cliques. Yeah. And um, Flummy went into bed at, I think, number six. And For those of you who remember. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Popeye refused to talk to him. And anybody else that he batted with. You know, and I remember coming back from breakfast the next morning and lift coming down there to Popeye with all his bags. He said, where are you going? He said, I've been sent home. You know, that should have been nipped in the bud there and then and what should never have happened. Yeah. You know, so I think those were the challenges Gavin had, and Tristy made that, I think, a lot easier for Swinger. Yeah. Okay. The worst thing about that trip was that I, I, early in the season, I got destroyed by, by Sylvester Clark and <laughs> Ross and all these guys. So yeah. I was happy playing in the B-side. <laughs> okay. And then they sent home uh, <laughs> Willie. <laughs> and I'm standing at the airport, supposedly, <laughs> supposedly going to... To, to Peter Mansberg to play, to play B. Yeah, you know, B side. B. So to and I get, I get told, no, no, you must catch this flight to Joburg. Oh, what for? Uh, yeah. no. no, you're going to Joburg to play tomorrow night. We're going to fetch you in the yeah. combi. Yeah. I think you're going to like it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Flum, uh, Moses yeah. and yourself. Yeah. And the Bamister. most important part of his uh, car is that big thing yes. he carried on his shoulder. With the yeah, the jute box. And I remember we got picked up in those days. Can you believe it? I mean, how things have changed. We got picked up in a school bus. Yeah. They were driving a school bus. They weren't even driving a hired bus from Ayrton. Through last school, Benoni or something. Yeah, something like that. (laughs) Moses was sitting in the back and his arm was out the window and he was pissed off. And Fires was driving and Paul Bowers was sitting there. And as I got onto the bus, I remember them saying, Welcome to the Scorpions. (laughs) <laughs> and I like, I like looked at this and I said because Flummy was six and Fires was like Ten, eight 11, and 11. Carl was whatever it is and the tail uh, the tail yeah <laughs> and from six to eleven they made more runs than number one from one to five so they said that no, it's the scorpions the sting is at the tail <laughs> you know quite right it was a fact I mean do you remember the the, the EP, uh, not for the first time in that particular season were like hundred and fifty for eight. And 3.30 all out. Yeah. What over 99? I think Bricker's got a 60 or 70 in that game. Yeah. Carl Baumister scored a lot of runs down the end there. Moses also wheeled the bat well. So that's where that sting in the tail, the uh, Scorpions, okay. came from. And and the nets practices, they would all yeah. pitch it up nicely to each other and they'd all, all right. play nicely. They'd look, <laughs> let the batters go in, it was yeah. all bouncers. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Look, that, you talk about being friendly. I mean, look at it. It wasn't always that friendly. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, we go back to the question raised earlier. 
I cannot honestly remember any friction between this group of guys. And I mean, I think I spent maybe two years, two seasons with you guys. I don't remember any friction ever. There was a little bit of friction prior to it with Philip and occasionally, you know, him and Ezra didn't get on too well together. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was, it was never um, bad, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guys were... Yeah. Good vibe in the city. I suppose it would, would have had to be if you, if you guys were going to pick yourselves up and go and, and go f- go forward. You know, that's it. it would yeah. have to be that. Like I think the most important thing is we all we all knew our role in the side. That's one yeah, of the yeah, things yeah. you did. This is what you this is yeah. what your role Good in job. the job is yeah. in the team is, and you just you do that. You know, yeah, support and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. So we all had our roles and and what we needed to do, and 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 you were allowed to do that. Within, yeah. within the perimeters yeah. of what Kepler expected of you, you know yeah. what I mean? And obviously yeah. Tristy and the coaches afterwards. Like. Yes. So that was the, the secret then. We all, you know, we all respected each other from where we came from. We were all mates. And mm-hmm. I think the most important thing, um, as we spoke early on, a lot of the guys, Rashi, Tim, um, Wolfie, Flummy, I was there for six months. Uh, or three months of varsity. A lot of guys have played varsity together. You know, yeah. they were there for a while. You know, so they were they were we were all friends. You know what I mean? So and we, fires. I mean, I remember after practice, fires taking us to the wall here. Jesus, we okay, talk we used about to go that. fishing. Yes, the, whole, the whole team. We used to arrive at nets with our rods in the back. <laughs> straight after practice, Lauren <laughs> came one night. And Dot came. Yeah, and we used to, we took them. We used to, they used to take us down to the the the, 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 the harbour wall. Yes. And we used to we used to bargain with the for security there with, <laughs> with tickets for the night game. <laughs> <laughs> and then he used to let us through, and we used to go and we used to catch him. I mean, Merrick the one night I think he is a record. He caught about a hundred elf. I think Jeez, like, Merrick. So it wasn't quite a hundred. We were dodging the cops on the, on the ocean. I was just all diving behind the dollar set trying to stay away from them. But, um, we were obviously all. We, we, we can tell that story now, Gary, because Rod brings it up in one of his, I think, intro to you, or in one of the intros. Yeah. What had happened was we'd all gone there, as um, Keller's rightly said, and <laughs> Kepler, Rod and I were sitting about 30 meters up from Keller's, Pira and Merrick, and they all had their piles of fish. And <laughs> they were fishing on the drift, and Kepler, Rod and I were fishing on the bottom. So we had bait and a sinker, and they had pork on the surface. And this argument broke out. <laughs> to our left here, 20, 30 meters down, the three of them, arguing about, are you stealing fish from my pile? <laughs> <laughs> no! And then he said, just my pile was a bit smaller. But what was actually happening, there were dollars in there, and there were rats this size. Yeah. <laughs> and they were coming out, and we could see them clearly. <coughs> we, were, we didn't say anything, we were just laughing. They were stealing the fish and putting them into the dollars. <laughs> and the three of them started arguing amongst one another. Yeah. 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 And, um, and Kenneth Pira and Mary. <laughs> thinking that he's trying to steal from them and whatever, 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 but meanwhile the rats were stealing the fish. <laughs> <laughs> it was, okay. it was also, also about money and cash, cash flow at the time as well. Oh, right. yeah. I mean, this, this is now, we used to put it in the microwave, just put a bit of aromat on, take yeah. the guts out of aromat on, put in the microwave for five minutes and chow, yeah. that's your supper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for eating. <laughs> at the dreaded house of yours in uh, five ways. In 52k bro. Yeah. <laughs> you see, uh, uh, Gina, I see so. <laughs> Some, some comments as well. Yeah, I see, I see one comments. person here yeah, commented earlier yeah, on, where's yeah. uh, Paul Raymond? Paul Raymond was sort of um, yeah. just... Yeah. Where's he? Yeah. Where's he? Yeah. Where's he? Yeah. Yeah. Paul Raymond. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 And I remember, the, I remember P. Ray the one time we, we finished fishing and then we went to... Um, he, they stayed in a house. Excuse me. Oh, you know where the Five Way Spa is? Yes. There yes. used to be a house there. Okay. And Merrick and these guys used to stay there. Bira as well. We erected it with three palms there. Yeah. Okay, obviously you erected yeah. enough that they had to demolish for the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, and then I remember Piro, the one day, he bought himself a brand new reel. Eh? Like yeah. a really nice big reel with this big rod. In it. And he wanted to test it out. But it was like half past 12 at night. No, jeez, this is like 2, 3 o'clock in the, in the morning. morning. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to be nice to you, he's online. <laughs> so, we had the, he had this rod, okay, and he was now thinking he was tested out before he uses it, you know. So he stood in the middle of Cape Road, okay, casted it down Cape Road like this, just put this big sink on the end. <laughs> and it went doof, doof, doof down Cape Road, and the next minute, a car, <coughs> a car came past. Oh, crap. <laughs> And the sinker wound itself around the around the side mirror of the car, and, oh. it, and it was 
Guys, no, and if you're stripping, if you're stripping, you caught the cop. So, but he's had a few beers now. So he, guess what he does? He puts his finger and he holds <laughs> it. <laughs> As if he's going to break him. No. I mean, like, you know, he's kind of, like, he didn't want to lose the line. Okay. Anyway, the, the next day, the next day, uh, the university playing. And uh, yeah. I, I, th- I actually got a feeling it was like Old Grey versus the university. And I'd already now at, the, at, at yeah. Old Grey. And we pitched up to play against the university. And there is Pete Ray sitting with this big baddie uh, or bandage on his thumb here. Because <laughs> he burnt all the stick. You know, <laughs> <laughs> trying to stop the cough. Trying to stop the cough. Uh, no, I think, uh, I think uh, Kenny McHugh's arrived as well. So we've got okay, some nice. extra guests oh, coming in. It's fantastic. When he, when he comes along, and, um, oh, so... Can Pop sit here? No, I'll be right. I've got to go and... Um, yeah, you know, I've, I've, got, I've got to get out of the picture as well because we, 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 we're going to find out what, what Kelly's up to too. Go, you want to play a little break? Cut away there with Let's follow the thing that's going to What we'll do is we'll get Mark, Mark to come up and Flum can go and see yes, where Mark is at the moment. Yes, uh, Rod McCurdy's is going to do a quick intro. For me, were the uh, silver spoons. You know, David Trish used to love it. Our coach, the Kiwi, uh, when the guys used to go to the washing machines and they take their fifty cents and they or one rand coins or whatever it was in those days, and they couldn't work out to work the washing machine. They put the powder in, shut the lid, and they couldn't understand why it wouldn't start. Sure, silver spoons. Good on you, Rushy. You've always been a champion. We're just going to re- refresh in ourselves as well. We've had a, we've had a good chat, yeah, Kenny. Uh, uh, we're talking about uh, EP before the uh, before before the time of Kepler as well, uh, and uh, and it was it was a little bit more lax, I think. Uh, it sounds it sounds like a little, at that little time. bit. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> your, your time. When did you start started your, your Greek career? Was that uh, nineteen seventy two? Seventy two. Okay, yeah. so so you you're you're one of the vets, yeah. Uh, yeah, I say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you played with a lot of the guys, so yeah. so your your career was quite long then. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and I uh, used to coach all of them when they were little boys. Oh right, <laughs> I reckon we were like 11, yeah. 12, 13 year olds. Yeah. Kenny was our coach. But they never yeah. listened to me. <laughs> <laughs> never listened Mark, to me. <laughs> <laughs> he taught me how to run between the yeah, wickets, yeah. Kenny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm such, such, such a good runner. <laughs> Excellent. Kenny never ran. Kenny just ambled. Yeah, I'm all right. Thanks, Kenny. Yeah, right, okay. and, and so, um, yo, we've got, I mean, we, we were talking about... Um, Is this live now? Yeah, we, we're live. We're live. We're, we're, we're on here. That's live. Uh, how, how, how long is the show? How long is the show? It, it's, it's, there's no rules. There's no rules here, Mark. It's, really? uh, it's uh, as, as long as we want it to be. It's, uh, there's That's no no rules on the internet. I don't. Maybe we should have a look at some of the comments coming through as well, uh, Gary. Um, I think we've got such a lot of comments coming through. We've been have a look at some of them. Let's, uh, let's see who's, who's been messaging here. Um, Gary's got some going on here. Let's have a look. Sean Brito says, SAB going to hit targets for the month again with that lot. <laughs> <laughs> We are, we've, got, we've got a bit of Fitch and Leeds as well. So, uh, and Keith Clark has is, is kindly provided some, uh, some Punter's gin for us as well. This Casey. is just uh, that, no, no. That's, that's Gary De Brain for, oh. for that. Uh, he's fantastic. Uh, he's one of our sponsors, in fact, Fitch and Leeds. So you're welcome to, to go. With, you can put some gin with that if you want. Kenny is a no, message no, 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 this is wonderful memories of great country by and miss you all. Uh, Philip would have loved to have been there with you. That's uh, that's Philip Bam. Yeah. Correct, yeah. or Jim. Okay. okay. And uh, let's see, Diane Barnard said, loved working with the guys. And say and hi to Jenny. Hey, Diane. Thank you. Yeah, they're talking to each other in the comments as well. Uh, they, <laughs> they're having a bit of a party of their own, yeah, as well. Uh, we got Ian Mitchell. Uh, that's uh, obviously Music Kitchen, Ian Mitchell. He, used to, he was a, uh, a cricketer too. Uh, who's the only cricketer in the world to get both War Brothers... Uh, out with one ball. 
<laughs> oh, we know that story. We know that old story. It's the old, the old one ball story. Yes. <laughs> oh, Callis. Uh, Barry von der Favre saying, uh, looking great, chaps, about the showroom condition. Uh, Flum's, Flum's struggling a bit. Flum? Uh, so he's struggling a bit there. He is What's a it? wannabe Flum. Uh, <laughs> he's a Barry von der Favre. <laughs> <laughs> come sit down, come sit down here this side. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> no, no, we, I think we got, uh, we got everybody. Yeah, you've never looked as good in your life. Yeah, is there where's Fires? Fires is outside. Yeah, still here. Yeah. Uh, Brandon Clark says, good old days. Oh, my EP, oh, my EP, ringing out from the stands. Uh, with, a, with a band going back then as well. When, when did the yeah, band start? Yeah, definitely. It started towards the end of our... Uh, yeah. Career. Yeah. Um, so, well, I should say halfway through. Yeah. Okay. You know, so I reckon. I remember the nineties of those songs. Yeah. Yeah. Play. Exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. Still, those songs are still <laughs> the same I'm song. Same songs. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not too many lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last message from Pira, from Paul Raymond. Paul Raymond as well. Pira, right? cheers, man. What is that? Just as hard. Just as hard. Thanks for Thanks for all the good banter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. There's, there's bound to be banter with, with these guys in the yeah. house, yeah. And, uh, uh, we, we always have a look at some of the, we, we have sections where we look at the comments because we... we Richard, Richard McGlashan. Uh, there we Richard go. Richard McGlashan. There we go. There we Richard go. McGlashan, Grace Bunch of Buggers, good to see you, old spin twin. McGlashan. There we go. There we go. There we go. You all look, all got fairly healthy, he says. <laughs> it's the lights, Gash, it's the lights. It's the, the, the lights, <laughs> you know. <laughs> David Rodokanaki, how's it, David? Uh, Fires, what can I say? Your hair is thinning some more than last I saw you. That's what he says to Fires. Last time in 1987. Fires, come and sit here where I am on this side. No, because I, I don't need to be a, 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 so, so close here. Actually, you want to know this? Do you want to know? So we'll put Fires on that side. Someone gets it on the drum. There we go. <laughs> we'll do this. I'll sit the drum store. Oh, there we go. I'm standing in the way. Do the drummer. There we go. Um, and so, yeah, I, 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 so I see George Stegman as well there as well. There's that's ex uh, Delta, yeah, Delta and GM, uh, GM guys there, great, great memories, great team. Uh, you know, he's uh, living in St. Francis too. Yeah, he's in St. Francis. I remember, well. sorry, so, you know, just going back to George. Yes, George Stegman. Yes. It's amazing because I was actually working with Dave Trist then yeah. in coaching. Okay. And we've got the coaching foundation going, and they were the sponsors. Okay. We didn't sound Delta. Yeah. George, George was main marketing guy. Yes. Mm. Okay. And Last he just bit. said, you know, when EP won a game and he walked in the factory on the Monday morning, the guys are so happy. He said, <laughs> yes, that week, just, that week cruised. But when we lost, it was like a morgue. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it meant that so, so much to the community because yeah. uh, we never used to win much. And as soon as we started yeah. winning, it just uh, generated such... Uh, and and like I said, with any sport, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a case that really does bring people together. You can say the same about music as well, but... But sport has got this, it's, it's got such a pull. If you look at, at the amount of people that come to a sports game, you know, at the rugby and the, the cricket, uh, it really does bring a community together, you know. So, so you guys, uh, although you, you were focusing on the, on, on the cricket a lot, you know, you, you didn't you think that, that the, 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 the community needs it. They mm. need that, you know. To, I, can't, I can't remember when it was, but I, I remember t what Tim was saying now. Um, I think it was uh, Johnny Clegg or one of those bands. Yeah. They actually played within the um, Delta mm. uh, the General yeah. Motors or whatever. Factory. They were in the factory, yeah. yeah. They played in the factory and they invited the whole EP side who was ever playing in the... I don't yeah. know if you guys remember it. And we all went out and we had to hand out um, tickets for the next game and sign autographs <coughs> and bats and, and that type of thing. And I've never forgotten the noise when we walked yeah. up onto that stage. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was unbelievable. I mean, the support mm. that we had in those days <coughs> for, you know, um, you know, because we were winning and we yeah. were doing so much for the community, you know. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. And also, yeah, there was no international sport then, so, you know, yeah. was robbed of that, so... It was a big thing, you know? yeah. <coughs> yeah. Provincial yeah. cricket and all that sort of thing, yeah. And you know, it happened at a time when Ford had just closed. Yeah. The, the resurgence of EP cricket. Yeah. I can remember I seeing that, that one banner on the Settlers Bridge over the Swatkops River. Will the last man out please release the dolphins? <laughs> you know, I mean, that's how bad people yeah. got. And yeah. I think one of you touched on the impact it has on the community. Yeah, definitely. And, and, and at that time, you know, so uh, that, that's... Kepler came in, came in as well. Was was that time? With Kenny, was, were you in there as well? Was, um, was that when, when was your your era there? <laughs> well, I came back when Kepler. Uh, I think he'd been here a year. I think. Okay. 
And then you yeah, came back and played. Three years, yeah, yeah. Okay, and you played an extra two, extra two with that. What was yeah. it? He seems like a quiet uh, chap. Kid. Yeah, he is. Uh, when he gets in a role. He, he, he plays himself. He gets a red wine in. No, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Are you sure? Typical batsman. He not. takes a while to play himself in. No, 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 look, Kepler right. always thought he was. <laughs> there was nothing. Kenny couldn't do anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to tell you the story, but Kenny was. Where did you know? They have the old Hansa. There's Hansa. And then he would suck on the old Hansa, but you know the. <laughs> the rest of the guys were there. I'm going to wait to sweat to you. And <laughs> especially after after batting, you know, if we batted, yeah. and he would have got 100 or whatever it might have been, and then we feel the next day, then Kenny would love to have one or two hunters. And I think we were playing border. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if it was a pre-season or a friendly or something yeah. like friendly. that. And, um, Kenny likes to think it's a friend. It's a friend. <laughs> <laughs> We'd obviously scored runs and it was a flat track. And don't forget the wind. And the wind Pump. and <laughs> pumping and <laughs> scored runs. So that evening went out for one or two uh, Hanses. <laughs> Pilsners as uh, Pops calls them. And anyway, he had w obviously not too often, but that night he definitely had one or two too many. Because he knew we were feeling the next day. And, you know, it's you feel it's all right. Feel like it's all right. Yeah, yeah, that is different. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, the next morning, Fox at breakfast says to uh, Kepler, he says, "This is." He <laughs> said, "I ate last night." You know? <laughs> so, uh, and of course, if that was me, Kepler would have said, "What time do you get in?" And, uh, <laughs> but anyway, he believed. Yeah, he said, said, Kenny, you just stay in the room. Don't worry, the 12th you can feel for <laughs> and, I mean, he tells a story every hour or so. He was just listening on the radio, watching TV. And you just look out the window and see, the wind's pumping at like 50 k's an hour at Borno, 100 without a loss. And he just closed the window and he's lying. <laughs> and I don't know, Kepler to this day thinks Kenny had a stomach bug, but he had too many answers. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fish. <laughs> but definitely holiday in fish. What a duty, but uh, but it was a, it was, it was a friendly like pre-season. Yeah, but um, in those days, radio I'll go. There was no TV coverage yeah. on that, obviously. But uh, there's a guy Percy Owen in East London, an old legend. Yes, and every hour there was a news bulletin and an update on the cricket. Okay. And Percy Owen reporting from uh, was Buffalo Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, I thought, well, I'm feeling a little stronger. Maybe I should go and feel <laughs> guilty. <laughs> <laughs> so, but as Flum says, order were 100 for naught, and then I close it. <laughs> <laughs> the trees were that angry. Yes. <laughs> and an hour later, but border or 200 for one. Ooh, <laughs> 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 it's <laughs> eventually ordering about 400 or whatever. So the curtains, they kept like opening and closing. 300. Just to um, fill Kenny in here, we, we spoke about the EP era before Kepler arrived. I mean, you were there long before all of us. And I think Tim raised the point, or somebody raised the point about all the great players that went through or played there in the seventies and they couldn't win a trophy, mm -hmm. you know. And yeah, yeah. we d we did have a fantastic team. I mean, Graham, Chris Wilkins, um, Peter, Laurie. Yeah, Peter wasn't playing. Laurie Wilmot, Simon, the same night. Uh, Etienne Schmidt, his name was there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, Gavin Carley. Uh, yeah, you name it. Yeah. But yeah, I'd say you know it was interesting. Um, <laughs> yeah, that sort of era. Yeah. Well, I suppose similar to the eighties and that too. Uh, most people had a job, mm -hmm. so you know we didn't practice a lot. You, yeah. You, you'd knock off, well, guys would knock off at five and come to nets, and seven o'clock it's dark. So. Yeah. And <laughs> and you know to go on a, a tour, um, guys had to take leave because they're holiday. Yeah. yeah. And. Mm -hmm. Sure. And I'll, I'll never forget my first um, game for EP was a, a trip to uh, Joburg and Bulawayo. We used to do like two in two. over two weekends, so it was a, a two-week trip. Okay. And 
you know, guys had to take leave for them. Did you fly up, obviously? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, obviously. I mean, prior to me, they went by train. You're right. But you are old, boss. You don't get by uh, Oxwagon. Uh, <laughs> a little bit before my time. <laughs> but, you know, and, and uh, you know, look at, I mean, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm just sort of tongue in cheek, but yeah. if you looked at a team photograph in those days, there were 12 guys and one ma and the manager. Today yeah. you see all the physios and everything. Yeah, yeah, so nice. this one manager was everything. <laughs> yeah. He he was the he kept the money, <laughs> the, the scorecard, the the uh, <laughs> medical bag and the uh, air tickets. He did the whole work. Drinks all yeah. the yeah. And he was good at that. This was a more relaxed definition. Well it, it was very competitive. Yeah, okay. It wasn't, yeah, it was a bit of lack of discipline yeah. at some times, yeah. Yes. But I mean, there were some fantastic plays in those days. When, uh, sadly, we never, we never, we won a couple of the one day competitions, but yeah. But it was only when Kepler came and chased people around the ground. Yes, exactly. We made this. I've never, I've never ever broken a bone. Who pulled a muscle in my whole career until I met Wolfie. <laughs> <laughs> so you did it all at once. Yeah. So, then you, so you didn't get away with anything, like you didn't uh, only run up Ricky's once when the others were running up three times. No, I, your... I think I only did it once. <laughs> <laughs> you was, was actually, it was a bit older than that, so you did probably get away with a bit. Eh? I was actually farming at the time in Storms River, so oh, I, right. I used to drive in. To get chased up brickmaker's cliff. <laughs> <laughs> and then drive home again. <laughs> <laughs> to, go, to go and walk the cows and go. There's a comment here. So, uh, I'll never forget the day the ball slipped through Merrick Pringle's helmet. Merrick? Uh, you can remember that? Yeah, yeah, it was the test match against um, India. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, the the test match in India. What happened in the ball? He always says that. Yeah, there's a test match. Jabba has seen his bounce with the ball before. I just, I hooked him for four. I could right. hook them. I mean, I, I, I could. Mm -hmm. You yeah. wouldn't, none of you would believe that, but I, 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 I could hook. No. See, we pitched it up to you. We were all mates there. We pitched it up to you. <laughs> we used to do that in those days. We, could, <laughs> we had contracts. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I just missed it. <laughs> straight through. I, was, I couldn't bat to the visor, it was okay, okay. Yeah, I'm too closed up, it just put yeah. me off, so it was, okay. it was very wide open and went straight in. So. <laughs> yeah, it put me down on the floor. Is really that yeah, I, 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 th I thought I was cut above the eye, which I was, but I, the, the skin was hanging out of my eye. Oh, um, so I kept pushing it out because I couldn't see it through the eye. <laughs> and then that's when I fell down and... Yeah. <laughs> Something's wrong here. And I woke up two days later and I asked him to drop it. Jeez. I had, yeah, I had laser treatment. So that's why I couldn't see the... The, the, um, the, the, the pupils that uh, shifted apart from each other. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had to laser them yeah, back laser together again. Together. That's the reason Jeez. I couldn't see through it. So. Could you end up yeah. with a mock down? just a situation there. Yeah, no, I'm lucky. Could you I mean, are we, are we out of the... Um, the pre Kepler era. Can yes, yes, we are now era. getting into, into the Kepler era, but I think maybe we should put the. <coughs> uh, hang on, uh, we've got a little a message from Kepler earlier on, uh, okay. which you missed, uh, Kenny, but we've got another one for you. Let's, uh, let's check the end, the, the last little bit that he was yeah. talking about. Um, um, on field highlights, anything that you could uh, think of that you uh, that you remember with fondly? <laughs> well, I think if we're, if we're looking at, at, a, at a team concept, I think the first time we won the Curry Cup against Transvaal in yeah. that five-day game during the centenary yeah. celebrations was, was an awesome an awesome period for Eastern Province. And then later on, going on to win the treble. I mean, you know, that's something that, yeah. that you know, I didn't think was possible. But... Uh, yes. It became possible. We came through a couple of cliffhangers. Um, I mean, the final of that Benson Hedges game in Durban was still, uh, you know, went down right to the uh, right to the end, yeah. and, and we managed to get there. So, so those probably in 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 a from a team perspective point of view were were the highlights. Um, I mean, there yeah. were a lot of bad highlights individually, but um, from a team yeah. point of view, they, uh, those were the highlights. 
And 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 I mean, uh, sp- the specific players. Um, your, your thoughts on the emergence of the younger players? Like, uh, I mean, we're talking about. Probably, uh, we've got a couple of them with here. We've got, we've got Mark oh. Rashmi here. We, <laughs> Philip Am was one of them. Uh, I think yeah, Callis, uh, definitely. Been, Merrick Pringle. Lot, yeah, there were lots of them. Look, um, Mark Rashmi, Philip Am, David Callahan were were really yeah. good in terms of uh, uh, from a batting point of view, and yeah. David Callahan got some useful wickets as well. They late, they all went on later on to uh, to achieve um, to achieve really good things. Uh, Merrick started his career with us and and did yes. well, but found it difficult to find a, a permanent spot in the in, in the team. He then made a good move, went to Cape Town, and it all sort of yeah. kicked off for him. Um, so we had Tim Shaw who bowled uh, who bowled his left arm spinners very successfully, and later on, uh, you know, we had Kenny Watson initially. We had Fires there who who bowled who bowled. Yes. Uh, the new ball and the ball there, the, the seamers, etc. And later on, uh, you know, we got Greg Thomas, we got um, Rod McCurdy, we got John Maguire, uh, Ildin Baptiste, all players who were she was really there. good signings and uh, who contributed to to us winning a lot of games. So, um, yeah, look, it was just a really good period for Eastern Province cricket. Yeah, amazing, amazing. And I mean, obviously, a lot of them, a lot of the guys went on played uh, played for the for the Proteas and and. Um, and I know that uh, your your highlights. I mean, ninety two World Cup. Uh, I was just watching some some footage of that uh, recently. That must have been a highlight as well for you. Well, it, it really was. I mean, it was phenomenal. Um, that first match where we played Australia, Sydney. I mean, I played with most of those guys in that Australian team for Australia. So yeah. it was quite a daunting prospect um, for all of us. And to get away there with a nine-week victory, go throughout the tournament, <laughs> make the semis, and then in in heartbreaking fashion, really. Um, yeah. lose to England. Um, if, if the Duckworth Lewis <laughs> system applied in that match as it applies today, when you have a rain affected game, we would have won by three runs. So, really, um, you know, that, is that yeah. is that so it's been changed? Yeah. Oh. Absolutely, <laughs> and, and and that's why it changed actually because of the result yeah. um, of that oh. match. But, um, you know, wow. getting to the semi final in a first world cup was was always was unexpected, um, but a great effort and and good Amazing. to be part of. Just uh, just a pity we couldn't go on and win it. I was I was watching that 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 first ball, Alan Donald's first oh, yeah. ball to Jeff Marsh, <laughs> and yeah. he, he got such such a thick outside edge oh, on that ball. That, our, our, that that I mean that, that that comes down to that the whole that that, that everything over the last uh, I don't know how many years before that. Years, um, we're coming to this moment where the first ball it. of our international yeah. cricket uh, World Cup, yeah. and it's and it's given not out when it's clearly out. Exactly. It was a thick edge, big deflection. David Richardson actually caught it just about in front of me at first slip. So, yeah, couldn't believe it <laughs> that it was given not out. Yeah. And, and these days we've got all the cameras and the whole thing. Absolutely, I suppose. Yeah. How different it might have been. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, but at least, oh, look, at least that one didn't cost us too much. We won that one, so that was good. Yes, but, you won, no, it, yeah, won it, it. It was a great night. Yeah, and like you said, Duck, so Duckworth this list actually actually uh, uh, changed because of that twenty-two. Yeah, of was that it result. twenty-two of one ball? That's it. Yeah. Exactly because Crazy, of that result man. and change. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I don't know if there's anything you want to share before before uh, you, you you go off to your Brisbane business uh, <laughs> and your boxing. <laughs> well, no, if you go, when you go back um, to mooring people again uh, <laughs> in the ring, <laughs> or getting moored myself. But anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. Look, it's just it's a long time ago now, but I think that yeah. you know it was it was a it was an, an incredible time uh, in terms of of the history of Eastern Province cricket. Um, I'm not sure whether they'd relive that again. Um, we had such a good team, got such good results, yeah. and 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 just for a period of about six or seven years there, yeah, it was really good to be part of. And uh, I think everybody who who shared that will agree. So um, yeah, we could always look back on that with uh, really fond memories. For sure. Oh, Kepler, thank you, man. It's uh, been fantastic having you on just for a little a little bit. We're going to get you on the show full time at, at some stage. We want to do yeah, a whole show awesome. on you. Yeah, that'll we'll be absolutely that. amazing. We'll, right, we'll bring you, we'll reconnect you with the Eastern Cape. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. All right. Thanks, Kepi. Well. Good to see your face, man. You too, eh? Keep All well. right. Good to see you. There you go. <laughs> well, Kepi. Hello, uh, it, it, yeah. I think we, we, we've got to look at some of these comments because they're just coming like like there's no tomorrow. I don't know if you know any of these guys. Trevor Packer, how's it buggers from Excellent. Macau? Yeah. Is, that, uh, is that another cricketer? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, Christopher Vanavesta says, great stories, great show, chaps. Thank you very much, Christopher. 
And uh, Jenny Renaissance, I, I see that, uh, is that uh, Philip's uh, family? Or, uh, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Fantastic uh, uh, player of Philip and, uh, and, and uh, highly spoken of. Uh, Chris Patrick say all legends in EP cricket. There we go. Excellent. Uh, Caroline Maxwell says, uh, love watching the games in Georgia. It's a great, a great bunch of guys on and off the field. So it's, uh, Kevin Freeman saying, uh, oh, great seeing them all together. I think it's, it's, it's really great that we've got you all together. <laughs> it was a bit of a fluke, you know, but it's been, yeah. it's been fantastic. Nuts um, Karma. Who's that? Uh, good yeah. to see you, Rashi. That's cheap. Last time you saw him, Steve. Where is the last time you saw your nuts? <laughs> Where, did Kelly? Where did Martin Fender end up on the leaving EP? Martin I Fender. Don't know. Well, yeah. 93, I think. He was yeah, in Northwest or something. North North he yeah. went in Northwest. He went to Bucherstrom. I think yeah. it was. Yeah. There you go. Mark Webster. <laughs> I think the cricket mates loved working with you all day, and Barnard says, says as well. Yeah, Glenn great. Bester, is good. here we go, is Glenn Bester, maybe fall in love with the game. He's, of course, Glenn does a, a lot of coaching yes, and I saw right. that. Uh, for the youngsters, I'm sure he's put a, a lot, of, lot of young guys on the map. Uh, fantastic job you do there, Glenn. Uh, Brandon Clark, still remember playing on the side of the field, and George is watching the final on this and Shield. I think it was... Uh, Kenny hitting a six into the small camera box of the new Firestone Pavilion. That's Casey's lucky. Casey's lucky, eh? Yeah, he must have been Casey's lucky. Free hunters. He was an Essa and a 19 player. Yeah, I should just bring. Uh, Tim Saying, uh, how's the ostriches spring? <laughs> how's the ostriches? You can hurt the ostriches a bit, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that what I you're mean, doing at the moment? I'm farming ostriches at the moment. Oh, yeah. ostriches. Mm. Are, they, are they well behaved? No, never. No, no. <laughs> never. Gary, where's the problem? Are you he yeah. so understands him. Dean Lang. 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 Brown. Dean Lang. 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 Dean uh, that joint is what is going to run out of booze, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you make legend? He's a brilliant. Who's Carsey? Uh, uh, where's Carsey? Uh, says Tim Spatz, I see that there. Uh, we forgot James, about it. James Carsey left to be yeah, him on something. Paul Raymond saying, how's it there? Chris Wilkins smashed Gart Rue over the roof. Uh, first, first ball at Midlands. Yeah. Uh, I remember correctly. Charles Fortune. He played with yeah. 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 Can you remember? Yeah. yeah. Do you remember that game? Yeah, he, and, and, uh, in a Curry Cup game, eh? No, it was a one day. Was it a one day? But he, uh, Eddie Barlow was captain of Western Province. All oh, right, okay. And Chris was smashing cars and was just come on the scene. Yeah. And Eddie took him off and Chris said, no, no, keep him on. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, take him off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he, he did the same to Vince in yeah. the first ball. Yeah. <coughs> Let's enjoy it. Go for the guys, uh, Wolf. Vince made a balance of the cousins. Yeah. Oh, I remember that they, it was just, they was in the same sort of era. Vince yeah. made a balance yeah. of the route, wasn't it? And uh, I presume they played the uh, spring break team together yeah. as well. But uh, it was, uh, he, he, well, obviously pretty quick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was he, oh, yeah. 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 No, no, he was. was quick. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I see Michael Clement saying, question, did Kepler make the entire team do ballet for ballet? <laughs> 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 no. We did, we did boxing bad. lessons. We all, at one stage, it was an absolute craze to do boxing. Everybody Flum, was really? boxing. Yeah, yeah. Flum was a good boxer. And Flum, Flum was a good boxer. Why do you think his nose looks like that? <laughs> 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 and I remember there was a. What, who, did, you, did you hit Philip or somewhere? Or somebody hit you no. over the couch? It, it was clever. Hit him? No, no, no. no he hit me. I was hit by Burrow. He hit Burrow. What's One that? punch, it was in my boxing career. <laughs> but wasn't there a boxing thing between you and Kepler? In Pretoria? No, we just boxed together. Uh, oh, against each other. When, in the early days. And Anton Ferreira's dead. But wasn't there like a function that the two of you... No, uh, no, no. Five or might, or you might have, but I don't think there was. Eh? No, no. <laughs> Robbie Orange's <laughs> benefit. Flung the Robbie. fights in the UP yeah, final. final. Yeah, heavyweight yeah. yeah. champion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were you the heavyweight champion? Yeah, yeah. You won it. <laughs> Kepler was my coach. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I remember that. He had a ring there once. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. 
He's I not was... going to be to get in the ring, man. There's no way. There's some pictures here. There's some, uh, oh, it's a couple of... Jeez, there's Merrick. Merrick, what are you doing there? Merrick. Jeez, man. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what that is. That, that's... You know, when, you, when you get these things, they, they, they're day old. And yeah. they're obviously taken away. The parents <laughs> normally teach them how to... To yeah, pick and buck, eat. Buck around. Uh, you got to sit there and, and, sure. and put it on. A, basically, that green there is a hessian bag, like a hessian bag. It's yeah. plastic. And you make a noise on that. And if one goes, they all, they all go. go. Yeah. And then you go and move the next one. And, and you do this. <laughs> have, you got names? have you got names for it? <laughs> No, I'm going to go nice for one. If you give them nice, <laughs> they die. <laughs> you know, are the comments finished? I just want to go back, if I may, yeah. to a comment Kenny made about Hammy and he pulling his Hammy or yeah. muscle mm. for the first time maybe in his career. Yeah. And he pointed to Wolfie. Yes. I'm not sure if you guys remember, we won that first Nissan Shield trophy in Pretoria. 87. Yes. Mm -hmm. And... Um, can Let me swing, I wanted my match fee. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it was I don't remember. Wasn't it Randolph, the one first? Yeah, it was. Randolph. First, first. first no, 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 Clearly, no, Doug, yeah. Doug Messi, a fireball, but just because my memory is not that good. But uh, Swinger so got injured. Yeah. He was the keeper, and I, I, I didn't make the initial sign. Touch, touch rugby. Yeah. yeah, and then I, I had to keep and play. And the first game was Rana, they had the helicopter on the field. Oh, that's right, that game, yeah. And then we won uh, the final. Lunch, you got thrown up. Yeah. No, 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 that was a year later. Yeah. Was it? Yeah, later. Yeah, later. Yeah. But anyway, we won, we won the final. Yeah, and obviously, each. as we discussed earlier, you know, the more you uh, won, the bigger was your little paycheck. Mm -hmm. And mm. came back and so you go, let me know that he thinks I must pay him. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, because if it wasn't for him getting injured, I would have <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this, this particular game, we had tried to have a game for a while. I think we tried three times, and every time we got there, it was raining, and eventually we flooded, it, as Flammy rightly said, the helicopter on the field in the morning. Yes, yes, yeah. And um, Kenny Mack and Callas got 92 and 90 odd, yeah. and we won the game. I think they put in about 180. Yeah. Do you remember now, mm -hmm. yeah. the game? Now, after the game, it's the first trophy we won. I mean... No, I just want to celebrate. We yeah. it's been the last six months running up and down. Brickmakers Cliff. Yeah. Um, yes. You know, it's served you at the point. I remember I had the keys to the one bus, yeah. and I was told no going out tonight, early night, because on the Tuesday night we were playing Transvaal, uh -huh. and I thought bullshit. <laughs> and I don't know how the word had got around, but a guy called Dennis East. Yes, Dennis Easter, he's been on the show. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. He was playing in Joburg that evening and off we went. <laughs> and the only guys, and funny enough, I told the story to a guy a few years later and he said, well, who didn't go? So I said, Kepler, Tim and Swinger. <laughs> and he said, that's why they became Springboks. <laughs> <laughs> that was his comment at that time. Kellers and Rashi hadn't, when I told the story, hadn't become Springboks yet. But off yeah. we went. And anyway, this is disobeying Kepler's yes. instruction. Yeah. Now, Merrick, this could be an urban legend, but as I understand the story, and Wolfie can hopefully help me out here, yeah. he missed the bus coming back from the Dennis East show <laughs> at one o'clock in the morning. Uh, and again, met him later, he's in, as the story goes, as Kepler walked out, he was flying back to PE because Rebecca was being born. And swing doors at the Burgess Park. As he went up, you swung in. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and he said, where have you been? And he said, uh, I've been for a run. <laughs> <laughs> and I can remember this as if it were yesterday, indelibly. Wolfie coming to me at breakfast the next morning. Not feeling too great. Uh, got home and say, half past one, one o'clock. Yeah. He said, I've got bad news for you. We're going straight to the Wanderers in Joburg. We're not going to the hotel. For, we were playing on the Tuesday night, yeah. and we got to run up and down the Wanderers oy, 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 at 11 o'clock in the morning, do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> and what I have a vivid recollection of was the man on my right here and Philly Ann, yeah. at the bottom of the stairs, they're giving it the roar with the big uh, <laughs> bomb. Oh. <laughs> you know, Tim, I can understand why you, was, you stayed at home that night and, and <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 was Eclipse as hard as you as he was there with, with the, with the uh, thing because of that? As hard? As, like, with, you know, for the next morning, like, for instance, like, like running up and down thing. And I, I mean, you, you, were you one of the senior players? 
with Dig, you, you, uh, what, 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 what is You're your very much a senior player, yeah. No, we're treated the same, man. No, no, we're all the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah we weren't treated differently. Yeah, 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 I probably spoke to Kepler more than a lot of these guys did. Yeah. Yes. We were both loners, I suppose. You couldn't so, yeah. much. We yeah. kind of find each other. We did it together, you know? The loners, the loners together. But yeah, we used to have a, so, when you get back from, there used to be the um, milkshake brigade yeah. on the team. Okay. So, yeah, so, <laughs> uh, yeah. so straight, off, straight off to the game, um, it didn't matter which day it was, first day, second day, third day, Rod would be in the one bus and then there would be another bus. There would always be two buses. <laughs> and then what used to happen, the guys used to go up and get changed and then go out for a steak and a few beers. And yes. depending how you, if you performed on that day, you had five, six beers. Maybe even more. Basically, the early and the late bus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then there was always a long shake. Okay. Yeah. And then it was Tim, Kepler, Rashi, oh, right, Philip, uh, Kenny, oh, Ma Kenny Mack. <laughs> 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 yeah, until, until, until the last night, then Kenny used to. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it, it does sound. Two answers, you'd have had four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know if, if, you, if, if Tim would agree with me now and say that I think that you guys probably deserved every single. <laughs> Every single run up brickmaker. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Fires was the only guy who ran brickmakers with bricks in his rucksack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Fires took it one step further. I was further. fencing for yes. Cape Recife. <laughs> <laughs> the way he got there. Clive says they fell out of his head into the rucksack. <laughs> I believe some of the bricks in a, in a case. What was, the, what was the story about the bricks in a case? Wasn't there a story about No, I, remember, I used to often yeah. remember the. Rex said full of bricks. Bricks? Um, did you know about the bricks? It didn't help much. Didn't help much. Did somebody put them in there or did you put them in there? No, no, I, I put them in there. I lent the chicken in the army. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Practicing for the fishing. Tom stole the right. I just want to digress if I may. I was actually looking at your stats yesterday. And I, I calculated that if you made, I was telling Gina earlier, I think, or Gary. Yes, yes. I calculated that if 70% of your runs were run, in other words, not boundaries, mm -hmm. So if you made 26, 27,000 first class runs, which is probably more than well, the Tailanders. <laughs> well, it's more than four careers. Careers. <laughs> So assuming 70% of your runs were ones, twos, and Quick threes. Single. Quick single. Quick <laughs> 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 it's, it's the equivalent of you running from P to close to a Tata. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I promise you. Gee, was, I, 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 I just took about 20 years. To do <laughs> <laughs> all, this, all the equivalent of, I think, five comments. <laughs> now, t t tell us about it. I think let's get into this triple. Because uh, what, what's the triple? The carry cup? The, what, the best Listen shield. And the Listen shield. shield. And the Listen shield. Well, that, those three, eh? Yeah. Uh, that was like 1990. It was 1990. 1990. The first pitch of the triple was yeah, 90. I, remember, I was just out of my chicks. I remember, I, I remember it happening. And, and, and so, I mean, that must have been... When you were getting close to this, this thing, it must have been, it must have started appearing on the horizon. I mean, I think the great game, if I may say, it, I wasn't there, yeah. was when Kenny got 191, Philly got 214, wow. and between Tim and Hobbers, they bowled about 165 over. Wow! In the game, and Flummy got 70. Sorry, Flum, you got 79. No, I took the catch. <laughs> <laughs> you should, you should ask Larry if you should ask Larry if you Different year. Different year. No, you That was the first carry cup winner. First time. Yeah, first carry cup winner. When Kenny made 191 and Philly 214. And then Tim bowled. And I, I promise you. Let's look at Tim's figures there. 92 overs. 6 for 70 with 58 maidens. 26 overs. And 28 maidens. 3 for 38. Yeah, and the next second All right. Row. Was it uh, 46, 46 overs, 31 maidens, 3 for 32. 6 for 70. So you bowl, you know, you bowl more overs than you went for runs. Yeah, which we've got it. <laughs> yeah. It's actually a remarkable <laughs> achievement that you've done with. Um, yeah, bowl a lot, but I don't know. Right, more than that. And 214, so Vessels 11, McKern 191, Canaan 10, Michal 79, Richardson 12, Shaw 10. Thompson Norts. Yeah, you see all the drinkers made runs that day. <laughs> <laughs> when it counts. Hobson, Harry, seven not out, twelve in. McCurdy caught two shots. Two balls. balls. He won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two <laughs> balls. He's got a seven. Do you want one to hear more details? Interesting no. scorecard, this. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, 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 I think there's, a, there's an intro that Gary wants to play. Uh, whose intro is it, uh, Gary? 
Yeah, yeah, certainly yes. winning the Curry Cup was uh, fantastic, uh, you know, and, and not only winning it once, but during the other time with West Brom, so we shared a victory there. But I think in the third season, it all happened, uh, you know, winning the Curry Cup, also the Nissan Shield, and then going into a final at uh, Kings Park against uh, Natal, who actually in those days captained by Kim Hughes, and they were undefeated, and Davey Norman had had an unbelievable season. They, they were 10 for 10, and we thought it was a pretty tough task and all the boys on the bank with the blue tops spinning nose off and passing a few comments is always handy to get you fired up but anyway we went on to win that game and off the last ball can you believe it? I slipped one between my legs and I went for four but anyway Dave Callahan went on to get man of the match and uh, he certainly deserved it and Carl Bimester as I remember in a sterling performance getting me in his last professional game as well certainly big celebrations that night when we got back uh, yeah the whole of he was over the moon to finally win the triple crown you got a TV voice on that yes you did you're right I see we still kept this story about the about the Oh, any any yeah. stories that, that you think the guys in the studio mustn't forget to tell? <laughs> well, look, you only have to you only have to ask David Callan about his victory celebrations after the Benson Hedges final in Durban, and I'm sure he'll come up with something there. <laughs> okay, um, and and you better not ask Merrick anything because you never know what'll come out of there. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if uh, is Tim Shaw going to be in tonight as well. Tim Tim Shaw's oh, also Tim, in tonight Tim, as well. Tim, Tim, Tim's a safe bet, so you can ask Tim anything. So he's a safe bet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so those are the guys that you you trust when you when you when you exactly. got them on camera. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> oh, magic. Well, we'll send them your regards, uh, Kippy. Thank you so much, okay. man. Here we go. That's it. So, <laughs> so you're going to watch out for what Mitch says, says on, the, on, the, on the camera. But tell us about, come on, tell us a little bit about the story. Tell us the part that you can tell us about. No, well, I'll tell you what actually happened. We, uh, Myself and Carl. Carl as, as you know, yes, yes, Carl. We, um, well. I mean, I, I remember the game because we were dead and buried out of the game. And I sort of came in and I thought, Shit, you know, I haven't had a really good season. I'm, let me just... You know, just knock it around for a while. Let's see if yeah. we can get back in this game. You know, and next minute Carl Baumister came up, came in, and he smashed forty nine in no time. And next minute we were back in the game. Yeah. And then um, uh, Trevor Packer, who just came on to bowl, and yeah. and the first, I think it was second ball, first ball he bounced Carl, and Carl got out for, on forty nine. Oh. So then we and then we started to lose wickets on a regular basis, yes. and eventually we got to the total. Uh, I think I was I was probably eight wickets, not, seven eight wickets down, and uh, I got out. I got a deflection off Dave Norman's knee on back team and got got uh, got run out. <laughs> and um, as I walked off the field, obviously Tim, or I can't remember who the batters were, but I mean I think the right was coming in. Yeah. And I thought, well, you know, I ran in, took off pads. I thought, no, this isn't. I mean, right never batted at nets. Um, he was petrified of the. Can you believe it? That big burly Australian. He was petrified of a cricket ball. <laughs> All right. And David Norman bowled him a Yorker and he nicked it straight through. I, I was just telling him he glanced it down to final leg, but he actually nicked it. It went through his legs, past final leg to win the game. Oh, wow. Uh, was, so, yeah. was it the last ball of the game? Um, I don't know if it was the last uh, ball. It was the last over. Nine down. Nine down. We were nine down. Yeah, that's right. And Schultze was in the, this yeah. game. Yeah. Schultze was there. He went oh. in there on his knees. Yeah, he's yeah. Ready, steady, go. Yeah. 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 And it took it took about I reckon about five minutes before they bowled that last ball. Okay. Yeah. Because everybody was uh, Kim Hughes was well, everyone was talking, talking to Kim Hughes and and Schultze had set himself up about. Five yards behind in a in a athletic position, you know, a starting position, yeah. ready to take off. And they went to him and they said to him, "If you run, if you run over the line, we're going to run you out." So then he moved back to him, but he stood in that running position. <laughs> but then, obviously, we didn't need that one run yes. for him. So. And then I remember Carl and I, yeah, we went back to the hotel and everybody was tired after celebrating in the change room. So Carl and I went down to the swimming pool. Yeah. in the front of the Langeni Hotel and took a few beers and we sat there and we watched the sun come up. But as the sun sort of came up, um, 
I um, I saw them in the in the hotel. There were a few lights on, so I went to those lights because I knew there were some EP supporters <laughs> there. The right. And we had a few more beers until we were called to get to the bus. So we had no sleep. Oh, we got onto the plane, flew back to PE, and uh, I, I don't know if this is what Kepler has been referring to, but I, I was playing in a golf day in Cathcot that week, that week, Saturday, I think it was. And I drove all the way to Cathcot, played yeah. golf, drank a few more beers and celebrated. And, um, you know, I, on Sunday morning I was supposed to have breakfast with my grandparents, and they were living on a farm. I got up at about 12 o'clock. They never <laughs> saw me, got on the car. And <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> so it was, uh, yeah, it was a, it was a, it was so good memories. So. A long, a long, yeah, yeah, a long two day, days. A long two days. <laughs> She's like, man. And I, 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 I see they still remember uh, the, the, what, the tongue one, right? Yes, I've heard about the tongue story. <laughs> He's used this, Michael. Tell, tell us about Kill me. The, Clement, he's down on the beachfront. He takes, uh, he does a morning hello every, every morning. I remember it. You know, now I think I used to stick, mm. stick my tongue out a bit when I concentrated. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I was batting that quite a few photographs, my tongue sticking out. Is it? <laughs> yeah, and actually, when I was at Woodridge at school in about, jeez, about 15, I was in the nets. Yeah. And I got a top edge straight into my mouth. Yeah. And I bit my tongue like half off. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I got stitches here, yeah, and my two, two front teeth was, I could have taken them up and put them on the ground. <laughs> and uh, geez, I almost bit my tongue right off. Yeah, so, so, yeah. It could be yeah. a problem. But, uh, yeah, you <laughs> it I, was a bit. <laughs> I, I get it because when I play drums sometimes, you do get that. Some of your memories um, batting with Philly? Philly. Cheap as he was a nervous bugger. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't you used to go cut yeah. before you began to bat? No, I didn't. <laughs> but it was. It, it, it's it's, 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 it's honest, though. Yeah. 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 You remember taking Bioplus before? Yeah, no, no. Philly, Philly was a guy, yeah, he, he, he really stood up when the game got tough. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like facing Clark and these guys. And actually, in that game, when he made those two great scores in his first game, yeah. the next game was against Northern Transvaal at St. George's Park. Mm. Yeah. And Philly got a pair, and he didn't. Touch a ball, LBW, and run out without facing. And that was Philly, highs and lows, yes. and yeah, not yeah. much in between. So if he, yeah. if he was on a high, he really went well. But if he had one or two low scores, you could really go bad if it. But a very, yeah. very talented uh, player and a great player, fast growing Philly. Yeah. Yeah. And apparently, he was a great tennis player as well. Yeah, great tennis player, well. well. yeah, yeah. Great tennis player good golfer. Golf, yeah. Well, Philly was a talented job. Yeah. But it was amazing, you know, we were all different, eh? Yeah. That was the most amazing thing. I yeah. mean, you got Mark who was, in those days, like, I mean, he knew exactly what the, his uh, run rate was. He, run rate? His, his, uh, his, um, his average, how many runs yeah. he scored in the yeah. season, you know. Yeah. Philip as well, yeah, no, and Kepler was the same yeah. as well. Same. Yeah. yeah, and then obviously you got, you got a guy like he got like Amu. Then you had the you drinkers know, in the team. You need to balance. <laughs> <laughs> then you had a guy like Tim who used to walk in the change room, never say a word, yeah, yeah, stare yeah. stare at the ceiling for for about half an hour. Okay. Did you ever see him sit there, Kevin? With his six <laughs> with his six pack of beers next to him, and he used to sip away at his beers. And if you did anything out of the ordinary in the change room, he used to open his eyes. Shake his head, look at you. <laughs> that is so true. Uh, and then obviously you had Kenny, who was pretty relaxed. You know, yeah. you, you know, he would sit. Been there, done that, seen it all. Yeah, you know, he'd seen it. He'd yes. done everything and seen everything. Let's hear some highlights from that great career of yours. Highlights. <laughs> Your highlights. The things that you enjoy. I want to hear these Essex stories. Those yeah, I used to sit there and listen to the music. There must have been so many. Yeah. Uh, when Doc came to Pittsburgh. <laughs> The guy picked you up and you'd gone out, you better three times in one day or something? Uh, no, no. <laughs> I mean, she might be listening. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my wife, uh, she was my girlfriend, then she flew over. She was at, at, at UCT and it was her uh, holidays, but she'd worked in the steakhouse to save up money to buy a ticket to come and visit me. <laughs> come watch her here. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> Yeah, she arrived, we were playing at Leicester, and um, I think we'd bat, we were batting second, and the other team had made quite a lot of runs, and um, the morning she arrived, our openers went out, and I was in within an, an over, and, and out within an over, for naught. <laughs> we were bowled out for 52, <laughs> and we had a follow-on before lunch. <laughs> and this, I got in before lunch and I was batting number three. 
and I got naughty again. I got two pairs before lunch. Two hours before lunch. Yeah. I saved all that money to come and watch that. More time actually with you. Yeah, yeah. That's the reason. Yeah. Yeah. That's the reason for that. Yeah. I think we're going to bring Larry on just because um, I don't know if Larry's, Larry's still there. We've kept you there for a while. We've been watching from backstage. Larry! Hello. Hello. <laughs> you were just waiting until I got up, didn't you? <laughs> yes, yes. We were waiting to go up and get, get to the toilet. <laughs> there you have, you got, have you got any parting words here before, uh, for, you know, for the, for the guys? I see, you see uh, Kelly's arrived as well. Hello, Pops. Hello, Pops. Pops, Pops you've, you've got a new career yeah, waiting for you in the UK. Yeah, They've been yeah, over yeah, 70s yeah, yeah. league yet. Yeah. Now that you're... I've got fit. It's why I came in late, it's been practicing. Under lights. His favourite. You can bowl with my fingers again as well. Lovely to see you all and um, all the best. Come and visit when you come over to, over to this side. If you're joining the South African tour later in, in the year to the UK, anybody coming? No, not at this stage. Yeah. No, no, you know, it, well, it looks like you need to you need to send some pounds over this side. <laughs> <laughs> no, Kelly's got enough pounds on him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah, no, I beg your pardon. No, I was going to yeah. ask him. I mean, we were touching on the Curry Cup final where you and Tim bowled 160 odd overs. Yes. Of which you bowled, I think, 60 odd. Yeah, no, that was a what a what a time. I mean, I, I sent the video, but I don't think it got through. Um, just seeing those scenes towards the end of that match were just incredible to see the emotion that everyone had. But we'll show that. There'll, there'll be time for that later. 60 hours. I mean, no wonder your shoulders bug it. <laughs> No, oh, fantastic, Larry, and, 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 uh, and to, 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 I think to be part of the, the group, thank you so much for, for, uh, for spending the time with us, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Albert. See you all. See you all. Yeah. Yeah. Give on, Albert. Cheers, Albert. Albert. Cheers, Albert. Cheers, Albert. Cheers. We'll have a beer for you. We'll have a beer for you yeah. Yeah, as well. Very good. Oh, you, Justin Kempton. Yeah, I see there's a couple of, uh, a couple more here. Uh, uh, this revered gentleman con contributed generously to the welfare of the elder <laughs> <Tomo. laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tomo. That's a Nice to see you. Of course, Neil played there every single, I don't know what it was. Uh, yeah, really. Really. Chris Rulofsa. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Which, uh, where are these guys now? Uh, really used to rock up. Play one game and say, "See you next season, Alex." And we'll keep going. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't bring. He didn't even bring a bat, and he just brought his, a little bag with. He's got that shop really? where you where you buy your books, 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 school books, books, school books, school books school books. Or he used to play game. every ga every game every year against Free State at St George's Park. They played a proper spinning wicket. Okay. And he's a big three spinners. Tim, Larry, and Chris Rose, so they're all spinners. Yeah. And he's walking to the channel with his boots, like this. Yeah. And, and at the end of the game, after one, he said, I'll see you guys in about a year's time. <laughs> that was it, oh, really. <laughs> but he was a very successful yeah, player. Yeah, he, yeah. 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 he was a very good yeah. cricketer. Okay, okay. And, yeah, um, Michael Dave, you were a bad influence there. <laughs> <laughs> Just it. So uh, he, he used to come in, Chris used to come in and bowl yeah. these off spinners all okay. the time. Just for the free state game. Yeah. Didn't even bring a cricket bat to the chamber. <laughs> Just his boots. For the free start, I actually said, no, no, it's full of like Chris and Yeah. Do you know, it used to be so bad. Is anybody still that golf games? Duncan Brown yeah. saying, how's it from uh, Plet? Uh, uh, ask anybody still that golf games? At Plet, uh, uh, yes, yes, yeah. uh, I, I believe so. Is that, uh, uh, he, he also Quite said, Francis, he also had some St. Francis there. Uh, Golf. Yeah, I played there. Yeah. But yeah. that's quite a dangerous day there. Oh, it's <laughs> a dangerous day. <laughs> the warm gyms. Yeah. So the yeah. warm gyms. Gym well, gyms. if you get the least points, you get oh. a, a double gin uh, warmed up in a microwave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I've, I've had it once and I, I don't want to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know where the, the Plet Golf Club is. It looks down on the Beacon Isle. 
Oh, yeah. Hotel. <coughs> okay. And after 10 minutes, it looks like a ship came out. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Rob Taylor saying, even Jet's awesome memories can't believe the achievements of the And you know, so, great boy. so a few great boys in the side. Who are the great boys in this? Uh, what is this VP oh. out here? What, what were the schools? What was, She's only two great boys. Really? Yeah. That's what that yeah. drinking yeah. again. Uh, we're we're two Marist 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 drinking again. Okay, so it's Rogers Kingswood, where were you, Tim? Uh Marisburg College. Uh, Marist in Marisburg. Okay, so that was uh, Queens. 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 Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Queens. There you go. Callis is a great Marist Marisburg College. Uh oh Marisburg as well, okay. Yeah, okay. Talk to you about Tim, yeah. Do you know what Sid Liddy? Yeah. Where were you from? Vivi, Vivi, Vivi. Victoria Park. Oh, hey, oh, Eugenia. Oh, Where'd yeah. you daily? I did have Stinted. Stinted. Tim was a daily. I was junior school there. Oh, okay. I yeah. was junior. I like that. You know, a bit yeah. of Albany English vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit of Albany coming through here. Yeah. Some sickness. You went to Queens too. I went to Dale. Dale, Selborne, Queens, and Grace. Okay. Yes. And you, and you. And you. <laughs> <laughs> Was it proper, you know? The, the, the proper scholar. Yeah, but, but, but also, the, 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 I wonder if the, the schools are still producing good, good cricketers. I mean, Dale and, and Queens College, for sure. I mean, the, the, the border sides used to, used to have a lot yeah, of people coming through for those. I think there's a lot of focus on rugby these days. I don't yeah. think, I mean, Dale and, Dale and Queens are probably not producing as many cricketers as we yeah. Would like them to do, but Selborne, there's been a, you know, obviously we all know there's been a few yeah. good cricketers out of Selborne. Do you think, um, do you think, do you think there's something that, that, that could be done to, to re stimulate this, this whole thing with, with, with cricket? Because it seems like cricket has kind of taken it, you know, with the whole Hansi saga and the whole thing, I, I suppose it, it, it put a damper on it at that time as well, you know. But, but, uh, but you know, I see things like Formula One. Where it's been on Netflix, it's been I think you know, the, the 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 sport has all of a sudden got this injection. Do you think the same thing can can happen with cricket as well? I mean, cricket is not is by no means faded into uh, faded uh, as much, but but um, do you think that there could be a spike again? You know, something like could be done. What's the cricket? What do you, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> What's the cricket? I think it's. I, I really do think it's. Um, I mean, up the coming ball, obviously still. Yeah. With the setup and the, I mean, yeah. we all know that cricket's an expensive sport. So that's yeah. the that's the one thing, yeah. and it takes uh, a lot of time. So you know, so you know, a lot of the cricketers that are playing are good cricketers, but yeah. there's not that depth that we used to have, and when people yeah. used to just play for the the sake of having yes. a bit of fun and playing on a Saturday. Yeah. So you have to really love the game to to continue playing. If you're going to continue, I mean, some of the facilities that I spoke to you earlier on said yeah. to you are uh, dire. In, in, yeah. in the PE, so if, yeah. you know, if you want to go and stand on a cricket field where there's thorns and stones all, yeah. all over the place, you you need to really, really love the game. To yeah, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and they do, they do. They're still there. Yeah, you know, see, so it's, yeah. it's it's and, and rugby is a massive attraction. There's more yeah. money involved in it. It's only a, only a short period of time. Yeah. Some of the schools, um, you know, put a, pump a lot of money into the into rugby. Yeah, um, it's a big focal point. So. Yeah, I think in that way, I think that's uh, the bottom line, you know. Yeah. So I don't know how we're going to get get around it. I think IPL has sort of yeah. generated a, a new generation, or well, the T20 has generated a new generation of cricketers. Yeah. But um, it's yeah. going to take a lot to turn the, the ship around again for for people to really, really enjoy it and get the the crowds that we were fortunate to play in front of. Yes, I mean it was, it was amazing. I, mean, I, I don't know, Tim. I feel like we are Scott Tim because it's, it's diplomatic, you know. <laughs> I mean, I mean the, 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 you know? the 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 um the, like the RPL and the, these things. It's kind, of, it's kind of like a frenzy sort of T Twenty thing, you know. What do you think about it? What do you what are your views on it? Locally, uh, I always say you've got to look at the administration yeah. because they, they always have a lot of influence. Okay. And if there's no real will, then it's yeah. going to be a, a struggle. And now, just yeah. look at here yeah, in Eastern Cape. I mean, yeah. the varsity apparently and EP Cricket, they aren't one. Oh, okay. And well, the to. whole of EP Cricket, the vision started yes. at the university, but it's coincidental because it's, like, it's called synchronicity. Colin Rashmere was actually had a hey, I'm gonna get something going here as well at the same time. He built okay. that fish tank, what we call the fish tank, and he went and laughed at him and oh man, is this gonna work? And yeah. he knew what he was doing, he was a visionary. Yeah. Mark Smock stab. Yeah. And that was instrumental and Kurti also wanted to boost UPE because he said, this could be the feeding ground to actually try to achieve yeah. something great. And he knew of Kepler. Hey, we need to actually bring someone like him out here yeah. to give the guys belief and actually create that winning culture. Yeah. 
So we and that's why all things start coming together. Huh? What was the fish tank? What fish tank? The, um, oh. the long one. The long one, oh, sorry. That was the first thing that did the long one. It's a fish tank. Then you're not going to talk about the first one, you've got to have a boy. No, because all you could see on the from the ground is the people that were drinking, and you see the oh. mouths going, oh, it's like a fish tank. I don't know, none of the guys yeah. coined it. I don't know yeah. who coined it. But yeah. I would yeah. feel the other side. I didn't see the fish tank, that was too bad. Yeah. But, uh, and you're right, I think everybody, they all need to <coughs> move together, you know, to, to get this to get this thing done. And, I don't and that know. worked, they had a great relationship. I mean, Dave Trish started at UPE. Yeah. Kurti brought him out from Holland, he met him in Holland yeah. and said, come, we want you. And then yeah. he did such a good job there that... Uh, Got him, that rushed me, I actually got him across. So we want okay. an EP, and then we actually will store. But you use it as a feeder. Because yeah. if you're not getting fed somewhere, yeah. then you're going to die. And that's what's happening now. The guys, yeah. that's kind of two entities, yeah. which is, yeah. we can't afford that in a, in a, in a province like um, Eastern Cape. Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> no. But you didn't live there. <laughs> 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 what the <laughs> Dax, I never lived in 69 and 52. <laughs> <laughs> Let me no, let me think. It was a dis- no, I wouldn't say a disgusting place, but I mean we. <laughs> I rented this place with three poms. I remember Neil Lennon, the yeah, played for Sussex, um, yeah. Paul Bora. Um, who was the other one? Not Adrian Potts. It was Adrian Chris Potts. Stockdale. Chris Stockdale. Yeah. There were four, five of us. He played for Old Grey. Yeah. And I, I rented this place, and these guys had nowhere to stay, so I said, well, come, because I've got this five, six-bedroom place that I rented, come pull in here, so they're paying you rent. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, I could, it was our young days yes, of yes. EP cricket. Um, we just come out of school, come out of army, and, <laughs> and there was a rule that if you left the house, you'd have to, we had a, a red light on the stool. <laughs> so, or if we were home. You oh. turn the red light on. Oh. <laughs> so, so you were now I could get out all night what happened in that place. But, <laughs> even, even on the island, we, we, we'd we uh, um, go and steal from a fishing shop. I don't know if there was a fishing shop up the road. You know those, those yeah, yeah, boards that on the side of the road? 52k blood party. <laughs> 50 bucks or something. Come in. There <laughs> <laughs> was a Jack Christoph that was standing in the stoop like this. And and it, if you want to come in, there's free beers and drinks and everything. Fifty bucks a night and drink as much as you can. <laughs> Did you make a and profit? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no it's just, it's just, it's just, it was just, just for the party. I know that you said drink as much I, as you can instead of drink as much as you want. But I do remember. <laughs> yeah. I do you remember a couple of nights that some oak that's sitting here? Yes. I don't know what time it was. Or a couple of times. Now at the front door I had a window open. Above the front door, yes. and this like used to climb through there to get beers. He's sitting inside here. Oh, oh, really? Still, <laughs> still <laughs> beers. Yes. Bring. Bring. Tell us about that four for eleven. Tell us about that four for eleven. Did you ever go in there, Flo? Never. No. He was his regular, so he's the one that climbed through the top window above the door. <laughs> no, no. I, 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 I went there once. <laughs> I went there once, and Rich Hazard drove in. He bumped into a car. He got cucked out by the person whose oh, car hit. Yeah. He reversed out and hit another car. <laughs> I thought it was, remember Bulldog? Robert White. Yes, Robin, yeah. <laughs> Rashi was there a few times. Boom. He was there. Yeah, with the five... Uh, five five ways five. Five ways five. Yeah, that's what I I went there with him and Philip. I see Gary the Braves uh, commenting here. Great, great listening to the stories. <laughs> Jens, he says here as well that that's his, helping us with our f- fitching leads. Just uh, talking about Gary okay. and uh, a Dale College. There we go. Uh, Tony Craig, Tony Creaker. Is it Creaker? 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 Oh yeah, he's in. He's in. in Holland. He's in the night long now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm a daughter. I'm a daughter. Yeah. Yes, it. And uh, yeah, oh, okay, four, 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 eleven. I, I just see Gary's just slotted a thing. Like four, four, eleven. <laughs> Tell us about four, four, eleven. What do you say? Yeah, that was the, uh, the World Cup. Um, yeah. Obviously, we won the first game yeah. um, against Aussie Rossi. was obviously there as well. Yeah, uh, we won that first game. It was unbelievable. But uh, things weren't happening and didn't go right for me in that first game. So yeah. I think I bowled 10 overs north for 52 or something over the bottom of Donald. Yes. And the, the next game was against New Zealand. When Great Patch smashed us. <laughs> <the point. laughs> yeah. So I was dropped after the first game and Tertius Bosch came into my place. Okay. And we played against um, New Zealand, and Great Bats just smashed 
Brian McMillan, Tursus Boss, he smashed everybody and we were clapped badly. Oh, yeah. Then our sec third game was against Sri Lanka. And they kept the same side. No, I think Omar Henry came in for somebody I don't know who came in for. And same thing happened. The, the quick bowlers were smashed all over the place. Okay. And, and then Boss was dropped and I came back in again for a fourth game. And that was against the West Indies in Christchurch. And it just happened. It was an overcast day for a few days in yeah. Christchurch. And Humanity. it was one of those wickets that was quite nice. And yeah, for you. you yeah, moment, so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I came on the second over, Donald bowled the first over, bowled the second over, and the first ball of bowl to Brian Lowry smashed me through covers for four and four. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, I, 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 I can't even, I can't even <coughs> begin to imagine running up to bowl against Brian Lowry. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's, it's really must be like a bun on the I'm not a bun on this. He's getting there. You're awake, Albin. Yeah, yeah. Where yeah, are you going? I don't have the clip now. I have the clip. I sent him where he's clipped. I but he, he, yeah, he, he smashed me for four, and the next one was a dot, the next one was a dot, and the next one he slapped me through cover again. So I was gone three, four balls, you know, you know, for eight or something. Okay, yeah. And then he tried to slice me at the fifth ball or something, and Johnty caught him and cover point. Oh. And then it just the wheels yeah. fell off for them, and sure. everything just happened to have fallen in place. And um, I got Dave, Richie Richardson out. LBW tried to smash me into New York. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then Carl Hooper came in and he nicked Carl two Hooper. vessels. Yeah. And then Carth, um, Arthurton was chasing at 20 meters outside off stump. He would be a wide. Get the court in front of the stump. You patch. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Two days like captain and Greek words. Two days because one day fish that is rather team to play EP. Mark Gensberg there as well. Callis, remember Plask on cricket with Tim in the brush? What was that? <laughs> no, we, um, Mark, Mark was uh, quite instrumental in creating what they call Plask on cricket before it was became Baker's mini cricket. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. so um, there was a guy in town here, Don Fulton, who used to be Plask on. He used yeah. to give us those 25 litre drums, we used to punch holes in it, paint it, we had wooden cricket out bats. Oh, right. Right. And then in those days we were working, myself, Philip and Mark were working for what they call the East Cape Development Board. Yeah. Um, uh, which became later the Department of Ed uh, Sport. Okay. Did um, you work there, kids? Yeah. And uh, we did, I did my national service there for a year. It's a long story. Yeah. National yeah. service there. <laughs> and then I, I worked there for six months before I went over to play for Nottinghamshire. And then Philip applied, he finished the army. And then he applied for my position, and he got it. Jeez. And old Henny de Clack, I don't know if you remember Henny, the tennis coach. Yes, he used to do it. Yeah, he was our boss. Okay. And Chris Christopherson. Yeah, Chris Christopherson, yeah. <laughs> and what we used to do, we used to go around and uh, coach cricket in the, in the, in the, in the so-called so -called townships and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah, okay. and um, we used to go to farm schools and introduce cricket and that. We spent Gee, was, oh, every morning that? doing it. I mean, for d months and months, or well, two years, basically. Yeah. Introducing cricket and uh, yeah. Tim was in the brochure. Yeah. Oh, were you in the brochure? Yeah. 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 I was doing the, the Tascon, I mean the Baker's Biscuits. Oh, okay. So you introducing that <coughs> when Baker's started. Yeah, yeah but okay. it was with Dave Triss. They yeah, spoke to Don Fulton, okay. he, he was a was Batman out the bats and he used to slash balls. Mm -hmm. and, okay, nice. Yeah. I was involved in yeah. that with you. used to take them to King's Beach to do okay. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, all over the place. I mean, there's that Lovemore Park School. I mean, I drove past the other day. They used to go there. I mean, I can remember practicing with the guys, coaching them. We yeah. had, a, can you believe in those days, we had a, 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 a inter-provincial tournament at St. George's. Yeah. Um, all these kids come from all over the Eastern Cape, they came there, and that's when Tim was in charge. Okay. Um, Mark actually Bucket helped out as well. Uh, one of the coaches, Mark helped out. Don, yeah. Don, Mark Jibitovsky well. and uh, uh, Max I, I, I remember going to Janssenville coaching the goats on the field and yeah, yeah. Yeah, drums as wickets. And, yeah, politically, it was quite hot in, in town, so we had to go out. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, and they, they embraced us here, they just wanted to play. So sure. Yeah, Fantastic. Uh, oh, and, and I wonder, you know, you always wonder how, how, which players would have come through at, at that time from those, mm -hmm. those things that yeah. really created yeah. that interest, you know. Well, the interest in those, I mean, we, if you go to St. George's now, you look for, there was Kenneth Mahua, yeah. uh, Derek Santundu, um, mm. There was uh, Roger Quick, where there were a whole lot of kids that we coached at uh, the Ford's, Ford's um, uh, 
uh, fields just on the outskirts of, of New Brighton. Oh, yeah. <coughs> and I, I remember when I used to drive from uh, the Evan, I think it's the Evan Don whatever building there on the as you go into New Brighton on the left hand side. Yeah, yeah. And used to drive along past down that road to get to that Ford building, and it was sometimes like running the gauntlet. I mean, <laughs> I, there were many times myself uh, and, and Donny Crabbe, who was coaching the rugby as well. Yeah, yeah. There, he used to coach rugby. We used to get stoned <laughs> along that road <laughs> because we were on our way to uh, yeah. you know go yeah. do some coaching Jeez. at that Ford. Yeah. And those guys all for your. Hey, gee, how's your screw there, boss? <laughs> <laughs> He was a wonderful act to play against. Uh, what does, uh, is it Alec Riddle saying how's it as well? And I was bringing about Brett Schultz trying to sabotage him and Dawson with the evening of the final day of the cricket final. Jeez. I, th I think he only bowled it over. Oh, is that uh, Brett Schultz? Yeah. I seem to remember a story about that. <laughs> 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 Who was thinking about Brett Schultz? No, I'd have... Did you fetch him in the morning and take him to, no. to a game, wasn't you? No, that's what me. That, uh, that's, me. that's when I was playing for Browns myself and Adam Dawson. Schultz tried to sabotage us. Oh, Duncan uh, Brown. Duncan Brown. Yes. Yeah, so, Duncan. Uh, Dorsey, Ach, I mean, Schultz invited us out. That's the province of playing EP here. Okay. And uh, myself and Dawson opened the bowling for province that, that, that year. And Schultz came into the dressing room and invited us out, myself and Dawson, so the EP could win, obviously, because they were, they were batting the next day. Yes. And he was, had a flat in the beach front yet. And he did, he got us proper. <laughs> and when, when we turned around, we just heard birds chirping. <laughs> and I'm sure he's done his job. <laughs> and um, we basically got back to the hotel at the Summer Strand Holiday Inn down at the bottom. Into the shower, down to breakfast, into the hotel bus, um, the team bus, and back to the ground. But it turned because Dawson mm -hmm. got four, and I think I got five. We <laughs> bowled them out before lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so this thing spread. <laughs> yeah, I think what you were referring to was Duncan Brown told oh, the yes. story yes. where he went out of his way to help Brett Schultz. He was right. going for Pollocks and bread for UPE. Yes. He made him breakfast, got him out of bed, gave him a lift. And got there in the second, third, fourth ball, Brett Schultz, then he took his head off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was Duncan Brown. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. I see there's a name there, uh, Norman Colling. Norman Colling, uh, yes. He's, right. he's, he's, Dave yeah. Hur, I see as well there as well. Yeah, Dave, yeah. Norman's father, Ronnie, right. was our manager. Yeah. Oh, right, no, he's, he's really, really. No, that's interesting. Well. Kenny yeah. may have listened to that, Kenny. Yeah, I think you've had 7400s. Pardon? 7400s, first class? Uh, yeah, that's referring to you, Max. There you go. Well, so that's something, eh? Never too old to learn. That's the immature water player there. And then yeah, Doug, to put the record in his perspective, uh, Alistair Cook scored two hundred in one game last week to record his 72nd yeah, yeah. first try, and you got 74. That's yeah, right. Yeah. And, and tell me something now, of those 74, do you remember which one was the greatest 100? Yeah, five. one that sticks up. It's a long time ago. It has, has to be the, the 196 one. in the Curry Cup final. Did you say that? for Western Australia? No, no. What, what is your top score? 177, I think. Where yeah, was that now? Okay. In Perth. Perth. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it was Western Australia. Yeah. Do you, you enjoy your time out there? Yeah, it was great. But, oh, yeah, it was fast. How many scores? It's fast. I've played there for three years. I, I played club cricket and, and then for Western Australia. Yeah. Mm. No, it was yeah. good. Did yeah. you play Kerry Packer? No, no. 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 Okay. Gee, so, but I mean, that's a, that's a hell of a record. That's 74 first class. Yeah, that's yeah, as good. Did well, yeah. you play for Western Australia? A lot of 90s as well, which. Yeah. Here we go, you see. It's going to be much more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You've been up there with books. I want to hear this one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Tell the boys about the I'll tell the story, seeing as okay. the page is brought up. So <laughs> we're we invited to an over 40s tournament hey, in Bermuda. <laughs> Kellers, you pull out. Yeah. yeah. And I got a call from Clive Rice, who I like to play. So. Yeah. Off we went, yes. And um, uh, people like Gary Kirsten and Fanny de Villiers and yeah. anyway, Rassi was the Rassi was the, the manager. Okay. 
So we always London and then we flew out early and left the wives in London and we, we got there. We basically checked into the hotel and straight to a street party. <laughs> and um, jeepers, we got these things dark and stormy. So it was like cool drink to me. Yeah, yeah. I, I got quite a sweet tooth. I started drinking these things, but a bit too quickly. Okay. I can suddenly it hit me, but it hit me hard. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't even stand. <laughs> and, I, and I snuck off. But I, and I, I was battling to walk, that's how yeah. badly I was uh, really drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, I, and I remember the buses, they, were, they said the bus were leaving at like 11, 12, 1. This was about 11 o'clock, so off I went and I literally, I think I vomited somewhere first. <laughs> Once the bus, and, um, and I ended up being the only out on the bus, and I looked next door and there were a whole lot of people on the next door bus. I thought, oh shit, I better get into that bus. <laughs> so I did. And uh, I don't know, but the England players were all in that bus. <laughs> and I was like Alan Wells, and I think Robin Smith was there, yeah, all, these, all these guys. And I knew quite a lot of them, because I played at Sussex with I remember yeah. Alan Wells particularly. Yes. And I sat in the front of the bus, and now Bermuda, going back, it's very windy. Okay. And suddenly I realized, like, I'm going to puke. <laughs> so, so I puked all over the bus, but I, I did it like quietly. And I thought no one saw me, but they all could see exactly what was going on. You're in the bus? And in the bus, yeah. <laughs> and when I got back to the hotel, I quickly got out that bus and gone. And I thought I'd gone away with it. But geez, the word got out quickly. And uh, yeah, it wasn't a great night. And Pagey's never forgotten. He brings it up all the time. He's told my sons about it. And, yeah. <laughs> but it was a... <laughs> It was a, a great memory, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And we won it. Yeah. And we won it. We won that tournament. Yeah, so we did that. Yeah. yeah. I remember I said, oh, Rassi. Took mm. it seriously. Rassi was the coach. Stephen yeah. Jack, remember he opened the batting? Yeah. yeah. Stephen Jack? Yeah. yeah. He opened the batting. Yeah. <laughs> batting. Yeah. Yeah. batting. Yeah. Yeah. Now he smashed yeah. it. Him and Kersey opened the batting together. Yeah. I'm probably... Uh, did you have Gino, your batting, Rassi? I think we was... Kenny was telling us one of the things. The one thing about Kenny, when we were in the change room and that, we'd sit there afterwards and he'd walk in and grab his beer and he'd sit there and then we'd ask him about his Essex days and all his yes. mates and you know, yes. John Levers and the Ray Easts and all these guys okay. that, that we all looked and read about in the Cricketer magazine, you know, because yes. obviously in those days there was no international people. Yes. And then we, he used to come out with these stories like, I think he used to tell us about Ray East who never, never liked it to rain and he, he went to like to put on the windscreen wipers. And, now, when you're young and you're reading the cricket magazine, you know, you thought everybody just wanted to play cricket all the time. Yeah. They were so happy to play cricket. You know? Yes. But again, you used to come back and tell <coughs> these stories about this, this guy who hated it when, it, um, when it, right. he woke up in the morning, first thing he did, looked through the curtains to see if it was raining. You know? <laughs> uh, no, no. Right. You, you, get, you get the real the real feel, you know, when, 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 you, when you're playing all the time as well, you, you get to see the back. The back end of it, and it's sometimes not so pretty, you know. As well, mm. but Ken used to say, "Well, he didn't put the windscreen by the there." Yeah, well, if you're driving him to the ground and it's yeah. spitting, yeah, and you put your wipers on. You say, "Lad, you're chasing the rain away." So. <laughs> 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 let, it, let it rain. Let it rain. <laughs> It was a mental game, you know, the more rain there yeah. was on the, yeah. on, the, on the windscreen, the, the, the less chance of you playing. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, did, did you guys eventually have a, uh, when, when would you say that that, uh, that, that that era kind of came to an end, that, I mean, the, the Triple Crown was, was probably the highlight, I, w I, would, I would imagine, um, for, 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 certainly for EP. Um, and and was, was the next year close again? Was it, were you up there? I mean, I, I, I can't remember, I can't see, uh, yeah, how, how's it yeah, I think we EP, EP won seven trophies between 1987 and 1992. Yeah, so, 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 so those were the years. It yeah. was a whole year. You were involved in 87. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, when did you go to Transvaal? No, 93. Yeah. Oh, 93. Okay, so that, that's yeah. when they stopped winning trophies. That's when we couldn't arrive. And maybe you went to Western Province. So. I went to Province, yeah. And, and you did well there, so. Yeah, I think that's my. I was still young. Yeah. Uh, I think I played, I think, three years or four years at, at EP, yeah. and then went to, went to province, and I was there nine years. Gee whiz, okay. But, um, I think the majority of my career was more there. Yeah. Um, it was a diff difficult decision for me. Um, I still remember Kepler, we just, uh, when I was at province, and I, I wasn't getting selected when I went yeah. there. And I had signed for province, and I never played in the B games, I was doing well in the, in the club games. And I went to the grounds when 
problems with playing EP and after the game went to the dressing room and sat, went to the EP dressing room and kept a seat, you shouldn't have won. And I thought about it for a long time and it was one of the, I, I, you know, you couldn't go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it was a decision that I, that I the right decision I'd made. Yeah. I mean, you had Rod McCurdy, the yeah. Greg Thomases, um, all those like Maguire, and, and John Maguire. I mean, as a youngster, yeah, yeah, yeah. there was no yeah. ways that I could come yeah, through. It was B side cricket for me. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you were playing here, were you not? No. Uh -uh. Oh, so you weren't I'd playing I'd only play if one was injured. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's children. when you went to Cape Town. Yeah. And who did they have there? Uh, Quivers Nolte. Uh, LaRue had just re resigned. Quivers Nolte was there. Um, was Stephen playing? Jeffrey. Stephen Jeffries, they both yeah. resigned more or less at the same time, retired at yeah. the same time. So, and, and I was doing well, and I had, I had a, it's a funny story, I was playing for Elmer Marriott's Creek Club. Yeah. I mean, Ronnebosch. And Peter Swat was the, the coach. And I, I was taking wickets, I'm sure you guys know, but Peter Swat, you must have played against yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Um, played with him. I played with him. <laughs> um, Swat. Oh, and I was I was doing well in the leagues. I was taking wickets and yeah. after wickets after wickets. Yeah. And Swati would come to me and say, "Let them let them grow." I said, "What are you talking about?" I said, "I want to play for Province. That's the whole reason I came here." Yeah. He said, "Let them grow. You've got a sore ankle. I'm going to report for it." I said, "Swati, I want to play." And he would go and say, "No, Pringles not available." They wouldn't select me to play okay. the next first class game. Yeah. Yeah. And I couldn't. Play. And he said, "You're not playing. I'll tell you when you're ready." I said, "Okay." Are you kidding? Yeah, it, it went on for, for a while and eventually Swati says, right, now you're ready. And we played a home game against Natal and he reported to the selector saying Pringles available and then I played. Wow, okay. And I got 7 for 61 in the first game. Jeez. So, yeah, that, and, and it started off very well and never looked back. I mean, your, your highlights, like, uh, obviously, previous games, it's been my games. Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, Newlands, I, I'm sure Kenny Mack will tell you that it's a... Uh, the other guys who have played there against yeah. against province it's, it's one of those grounds where if you're a better you don't want to see any clouds in the sky <laughs> and yeah. um if you a bowler, you want to see clouds in the sky because yeah. the ball swings around a bit yeah. and it is quite <coughs> over that side yeah um rather lashly <laughs> but it's not a, it's not a great ground for many batters to go and bat on over cloud day so okay. it's, i i enjoyed it there i mean it's who wouldn't enjoy Cape Town? Who wouldn't enjoy playing at Cape at Newlands? Yeah. Uh, it was. It became. I wouldn't say my home ground, but it, it's probably one of the best cricket grounds I've ever played in my life. I mean, yeah. that in Sydney. Yeah. And then, the what made you come back here? Um, I got pressurised. <coughs> pressurised with oh. youngsters coming through. Um, oh, I didn't think. I didn't think it was the right time for me to retire. But I was. I was getting the the edge from. The necessary people that uh, you know it's time for you to move on type of thing and otherwise you're yeah. playing b-side cricket okay yeah and then dave emsley approached me i phoned dave and i said dave you know is it possible for me Good to old dave. Um, <laughs> i mean i i think i'm not i'm, I'm under correction here and if dave's listening i'll be let him comment yeah. i think i was the first player if i'm correct first player to have been sold when i was still in a contract Oh, okay. So okay. they so took you out of a contract. Yeah, I got bought out of a contract. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, oh, really? And then I was I was bought out of the province contract to come back to EP, okay. and I think I came back here for six, seven years, and I enjoyed it. Yeah. And again, it was also one of those situations <laughs> where <laughs> your, your time's finished now. Yeah, yeah, yeah move yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ostriches are Yeah. And Mark, for you, for you, highlights for you. No, I was just thinking about it. It's hard to sort of pinpoint one highlight, obviously, yeah. playing for South Africa and that sort of thing. Yeah. But yeah. I think playing with this team, Jeepers, yeah. it had to be a highlight. I mean, playing yeah. in an era of EP cricket yeah. that was so successful, yeah. if we look back at it, it was, and it just brings back so many memories. So that, right. was, that was a highlight, I think, yeah. for me. Yeah. I think it was, Mark was a run machine. I mean, if, I mean, yeah. if you remember it the was. times where I think Rashi got against the Rebels, I think the English Rebels side, you got 150 in both innings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And, uh, Didn't you yeah. play the game, in fact, where... You were bold, and the bail didn't come off. Was it not in Meritsburg? No, no, not, not Meritsburg, I can remember. Rashi planted yeah. two trees. There <laughs> 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 were a hundred in Meritsburg. What, what was it called? The Gunsmiths Oval? What was it? Oh, the Gunsmiths Oval. You planted two trees. You got to tree. plant a tree. I don't know. I'm still alive. I don't know. I haven't really been back. It's a range in Meritsburg. You know what comes out of this? 
there's an old adage, you make your own luck or success, yeah. success yeah. breeds luck. Yeah. And I'll, I'll never forget the late Tom Dean. Um, I used to take him fishing. He was very old, give him a deck chair. He took to the Harbour Wall, in fact, where he used to go with Duncan Brown. And make him comfortable, right on the edge there, and he used to throw over and catch the elf. Yeah. Stuck very rigidly to the bag limits, yes. while the rest of us like pure 126 <laughs> hours. <laughs> 126 hours. But <laughs> Kellers had just uh, the last time I took the Lake Tom Dean fishing. Kellers has got a nickel for naught or yeah. one against yeah. Transvaal on a Saturday evening at St George's, and he went on to smash an 80. I think Mark James was the bowler who yeah. nicked off. Not out. We heard it up in the stand there. Yeah. Yeah. You mean a walker? Don't talk. Yeah, I was a walker. <laughs> a walker. Jeez. <laughs> anyway, Tom Dean was by this stage elderly. So a couple of nights later, I took him fishing, and we used to sit there and fish for two hours or so and talk cricket. And obviously, I had a lot of respect for him. I used to allow him to do the talking, and he said to me, why don't you bring Dave Keller in fishing with you? He wouldn't need a rod. <laughs> <laughs> and his inference was he could dive in and catch him with his hands. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. the, the lucky issue, I mean, Tim, remember one day you and I were batting? And I think we needed 10 or 11 in the last over. And you talk about luck. Yeah. We wouldn't have got it had it not been for a shot that you played. He squeezed it out and went to some back recover point. And Daryl Cullen, who was a great field, it went straight through his leg. <laughs> and it raced off to the boundary, and then Stephen Jeffries fumbled it. Oh, my word, as well. And we had to run a three off that ball, otherwise we would have been out of the equation. Yo. And Stephen Jeffries was also, also a great field. He fumbled it, and he like, tried to pick it up, and he wasn't making contact with the ball, and then he went, and eventually he threw it. By which time we had run three. I mean, yeah. you talk about the luck that you, that you need. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's another incident with Kellers in Meritzburg. When, when Hollards paid you handsome, oh, yeah, yeah. you remember? Yeah. Take him fishing. Oh, yeah. need a rod. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but no, I didn't get any luck at that game. I was really good. Really good. Some going me out in one four nine. I think it was one four eight, one four nine. Yeah. yeah. No, and yes. I missed out on the ten thousand rand that they were because oh, they, oh. they were throwing out money for. No, 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 jam no, no, and no, 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 and, yeah, I was bold on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they put a car, a car on the, on the boundary. You hit the car. If you can hit my car, you can hazard. Anybody hit yeah. a car? None of you. No, no, not no. even fun. No, no, no. 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 no the car was close. I was like, <laughs> 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 Just remember all the money. There was a chip free state in it against us. Yeah. Oh, no, jeez. The one that was that season when Hollard was sponsoring free state table. Alan Lamb made one. No, they sponsored the whole of South African cricket, yeah. remember? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Catchers and wickets. Yeah. You got so many. Jesus. You got so many. Yeah. That's what they made too. And and you've never seen three. flat wickets like it in, yeah. in a season. Kenny, there's a question for you. Straight up, I've got Kenny has a question. Do you have a review? Ask Kenny about the screamer at Sunnyside Hotel in Joburg. Yeah. I was sharing a room with Connie and Ken. Joburg was next door. At least that's what we thought. It's my wife, you're a tie. No, I didn't say that. She wasn't screaming. No, it was well, it was them. The two of them. Oh, the two of them were screaming. And we, I mean, yeah, it was uh, in a rebel test. I don't know if they were snoring or what. (laughs) Snoring. They have someone in the room with them. You know, we don't go there. Kids play serious cricket. No, no, no. Russian girls. No, no kids play good cricket. No Russians. It's still too young. Sure. <laughs> 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 How many of you got kids here? I don't even know who's, who's got kids here, who hasn't. Lots, lots of kids here. Lots of kids here. Spread the spread the cricket gene far and wide, but it hasn't <laughs> taken <it> yet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fernando says, uh, "Ask Dave when we can uh, what? when when we when the army when together. The army together in one room." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Can you hear the drums, Fernando? Fernando, can you hear the drums, Fernando? Did you sing ever ever songs together? Yeah. I haven't heard for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Do you yeah. remember? When, when, I went, when I went to the army, I was late for the army. You were in the room together, was it? Yeah. Yes. Was he? I can even look. Fernando has been going to kiss a couple of men here and there. I was late. He was a very 
naughty. Uh, he was very naughty, Mike, in the army. He's telling you, Mike. He was very naughty in the army. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> he was very naughty outside the army as well. <laughs> any, any other comments before we, before we uh, again, your, your guests, what your guests collectively scored 52,291 first class runs. And I wish Pop scored half. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Well done, guys. <laughs> That's your total. That's your total. Look at that. Yeah. Ian Mitchell's on his... Yeah. He's, he's, he's a good picker himself. Yeah. There's yeah. a great story yeah. attached to Ian Mitchell. Yes. Um, when he made his debut for Border, yes. he walked out, they were playing Pakistan, yeah. and he walked out to join Lefty and Keke, I think. Uh-huh. I think it was. And um, Mitch had just come out of school. He was a queen. Okay. And um, Lefty and Keke met him, and uh, Mitch said to him, what's going on here? And he, he pointed to that end we wake a unit is bowling from he said that one is left in gate he said yeah. he's swinging it like this yeah he pointed to the other end where show was bowling from he said that one i can't see Mitch used to play in quite a successful border side for yes. a while. Mm-hmm. Peter Stratton was the captain. Okay. Bond. And, uh, hey? Bond there before he came uh, that, to the No, and then Peter, Peter, Peter Border. Uh, Water. Uh, Wibble. Yeah, there was <laughs> Wayne, <laughs> Wayne Wibble. There was a number of guys that yeah. used to play. Uh, uh, Brad White, who's now an umpire, they were all one of them managed to play, but they okay. they used to give you a lot of mouth from behind. Sure. Yeah, yeah they, was all, they were very chirpy. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he was a big instigator behind the wicket, Tom Mitchell. Oh, is it? <laughs> was he wiki? Our, yeah, yeah wiki. Oh, okay, okay. And he, then he moved to PE and I got him to play for Old Grey. Oh, okay. Good. One evening he arrived there and he Are was... Are you wanting um, t- uh, free tickets or what? No, no. We <laughs> <laughs> did, yeah. So, so, uh, we had a bowler by the name of Mad Mike. Really? And, uh, Jeez, and Mitch was, that. Mitch was uh, what's his name, coming, obviously finished for about a year or two and I could probably get him back. Okay. And he arrived off to work. I think he was working for the breweries and he came right off to work yeah. and he put his pads on and he walked out to bat and this guy bowled, bowled him a beamer. <laughs> and he had this... He had this border uh, helmet on and hit him straight on the badge. <laughs> he shook his head, he walked out, he put his kit down, took his, everything to the bag, got in his car, and bugger off home. Never seen him again. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mitchie, we need to see him back on the field. It's ridiculous. <laughs> hey, he's, 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 he's putting on too much weight, so he's got to get out of there. Yeah. Too, too many burgers at the, at the music kitchen. Ruben Snay is saying, I asked Dave if he, if he remembers Licious Sports. I remember Licious yeah, Sports. Yeah, yeah. What else? Like I used, to work, I used to work for Brian Band, so oh, Brian down, the, down, the, down the bottom. I mean, as we said, okay. we used to work. Main Street. And I used to do the deliveries to Leisure Sports, yeah. Okay, right. Golf Leisure. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there you go, Mitch. Yeah. Mitch says, true, true story. That's a true story. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, mean, I think, I, I think we, we need to touch base with everybody before we, yeah. before we, we, we wrap it up. And, and uh, Tim, I mean, we, we were speaking about your, your highlights and that, but I think. Uh, you know, you, you, you play practice uh, uh, as well. You uh, often, uh, often in that, that pinch. I, I always seem to remember you and Dave Richardson like at the pinch, like like the last couple of balls <laughs> with Dave Dave Richardson with, with sweat running down his nose into his helmet and trying to keep rid of it. There's so much stress. I mean, we, it was it wasn't often the case. Or... Yeah, we had a couple of times at the end. Yeah. Um, but what, what, what's the question? No, no, I'm just saying, like, 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 we were often in, in that situation with that. I, I always seem to remember that. But yeah, I, I we're a few together. And highlights. I best mean, memory was obviously Curry Cup. Um, yeah, yeah, without a doubt. That surpassed okay. anything else. Just because, because it was EP and it was, it was, it was the, 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 do you think it was the, 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 the tightness of the team? Yeah, you've got to, it's just run so deep, you know. Yeah. It, it had so much, uh, there's so much emotion attached to it. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. the odd games for, I mean, I didn't play much for the, the, the um, international side played a few rebel things, but yeah. never had that sort of feeling. In fact, I even mm-hmm. remember Rod saying that one of his greatest hearts of his career was winning that cup, and he played for Australia. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, that's how much it meant because yeah. it was mm-hmm. such a camaraderie. Mm-hmm. And, and yeah. the, the team is so important. Like yeah. that, like, yeah. In fact, you talk about our luck changing. It's probably Keller's fault because he yeah. took Rod skiing. <laughs> yes, yes, if his fortune started to shift. <laughs> so he was not all lucky, yeah. Really, okay. really lucky stuff in this. But but you know what? Yeah. The highlight of his life, you know, he's an author now. Hmm. Behind yeah, his back, we yes. call him. Yes, so we want to find out what you do. Where are you? 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 Where are you?
I mean, we know, we know, uh, Merrick's in the serious sort of just, but you, you've got, so, and, and, and uh, Mark, I, 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 uh, we, we've, we've sort of bypassed you, but we've, so we've you find what you're doing now, you know. <laughs> 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 you know, you should so, actually talk, let Tim talk a little bit about his books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you no, have a time you got, you know? No, <laughs> you've got plenty. You've got, 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 got a book. Two. What's it called? Um, well, the first is Leading Self and Others. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when you get to the end of your career, you start asking questions, start yeah. thinking about what next. And I remember actually sitting next to Kip in the change room once, and he said, what can you do, mate, when you finish? I said, no, I'm out of here. I'm just, I don't think I'm going to get involved. He said, me as well. So anyway, I uh, carried on. Uh, yeah. yeah, so I just took that path because... I just wanted something different. Yeah. And um, and one of the first books I read was the hardest job in the world is actually working on yourself. Yeah. I thought, good glory. <laughs> this is going to be tough. <laughs> <laughs> and I, it's still the same. It's still the hardest yeah, job yeah. in the world, I believe. Yeah. And yeah, uh, yeah I just through a whole process. I actually write that book and I use it as a business tool with teams yeah. and that. And uh, then I wrote this last one. I started doing some park runs. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I wondered what all the fuss was about. These guys are running, and I said, just watching him run past. And, Good grief, what's it all about? I don't really want to run, but I said, yeah. let me just try it. And then I got hooked up in the spirit of the whole thing because um, hey, people's lives have been changed and yeah. I saw my competitive nature coming out. Yes, so I just want to yes. enjoy this now. I'm chasing my time. Uh, and I was like, what's going on? This is ridiculous, man. I want to enjoy myself. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, so the whole lot of questions sort of came through my mind when I started running. You know, this guy overtakes me now. The next time this person overtakes me, this person stops to speak to me. This person doesn't know me. <laughs> And all that sort of, all those questions came to mind. So I thought, hey, and he has a book on teams. I can actually put something together yeah. and relate some of my sporting thing in, in, uh, in that book as well. Yeah. So just help people in the office, like, hey, what's teamwork all about? Go and ask yourself yeah. questions. Go for a park run across your nothing. Yeah. And just see how you are and how your yeah. teaming ability is because we live in teams. And yeah. you, you, we'd be nothing without a team. All yeah. of us, yeah. 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 We, we didn't play the team. Oh, there you go. We'd be, um, oh, the, yeah, teaming so. with ideas. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. Jill Roberts actually gave me that. Um, yeah. Team with ideas. Okay, so if you, if you say you, if you work with, with some some people and put it together, and, and well, Kelly's has read the book, so if you want to know the highlights yeah. and things, just probably <laughs> tell you more. Where can people, if, if they're watching, where can they get it from? If they, um, that probably my is website, it? or okay. yeah, probably the website is the best. Um, Timshaw.co.za. Okay, Timshaw.co.za. Yeah, Timshaw.co.za. So, so, you know, Pops also did a book, mm -hmm. which I was very privileged to help him with. Yeah, that's also a nice little story, don't you think? Your little well, ambitions well, there as a lucky. Um, I don't know what my website is, so I don't know. <laughs> 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 it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a documentary of what you No, no, it's just, no, if I just, I don't know, it's just like a, um, an Did album you? I put together okay. for, for my family, really. Yeah. Just from when I started off in, on a farm in Takistat and oh, wow. where I did that. Just with okay. pictures and, and a few stories thrown in, yeah, along the way. So you grew up with Bella Dakin's family? That, 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 uh, well, the, yeah, her... Um, they were all in Dr. Stutt, I think. Yeah, she was with Bryant from there. Yeah, the Bryants, yes. That's yeah. Yeah. That's but didn't you, you had that ambition as a kid? Yeah. To play tennis at Wimbledon, cricket at Lords, and become a springbok. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So growing up on a farm, there's no TV or yeah. I used to listen to the radio. Yes. And I'd never watched the first class cricket match until I was about 13, I think. Yeah. But I used to watch Tarkas start playing Bedford. And, <laughs> and, um, and we had a tennis court on the court, on the farm. and So sport was my yeah. life. And, uh, yeah, and, and you know, I'd only heard of these places. Yeah. So it was like a, this yeah. dream. Yeah. Yeah, I was fortunate to uh, to play it, you know, all, uh, around the world and that. But um, but I also uh, knew a friend, and he played for Wimbledon. He was on the t the tennis committee there. Okay. He's, he's in, in fact, he's, I see a lot of him. He comes out to Nice and uh, yeah. and he arranged the game. Wow. On one of the side courts. Yeah. Oh man, it opened the door. Yeah. So. I've yes, actually been on, on the right. court there, yeah. And you played so, the Lords? Yeah, lo yeah, fortunately, lots yeah. of times I was lucky. So it was like a little yeah. story of... Amazing. You know, Amazing. A dream that... Yes. That I, yeah. Lovely. So can you... Who's the champion there? Who's very... 
Yeah, yeah. No, he won the. I went to. He won the champs. Can he be champion? Yeah, yeah. He won the cup many years ago. Yeah. Is it up there? And the the golf. Who wins the golf? Sorry, Wolf. Uh, well, well, Dave and I win the bridge. We learn to play bridge. <laughs> and we, we beat our wives there. But cheated. A little bit, yeah. You must learn to lose to your wives. <laughs> you know, you stand here, you better stand. I'm, I'm just going to. Um, I remember one night we were playing in Joburg, I think, and we used to take trivia, a trivial pursuit box with. And you and Greg Thomas were on the team playing against Philly and I. And we were like. 40 minutes into the game, and Philly hadn't answered one question correctly. <laughs> and he turned to me and he said, Piston, I've got to go and have a piss. Do you think you'll miss me? <laughs> <laughs> Would you miss me if I go and have one? <laughs> Our true story, I remember that. <laughs> he hadn't answered one question correctly. Five or you remember lots of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> he's got nuts as well. He's 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 man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Will you miss me? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so, so, so get it, that, that's, uh, we, 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 know, we know Ken's uh, um, uh, highlights. Callis? Yeah, well, um, you're 170, you move. What, yeah, well, I, mean, I, mean, I, think like I, I think I said on the show before, obviously, there's those personal achievements, you know, yes. your high school and all that type yeah. of thing, and that one second <coughs> at that time. Yeah. But if, if I'm really honest, I still think the winning that Curry Cup for the first yeah. time, for me, was, it's still one of the highlights of my, my life, you know what I mean? It, yeah. is, it, is, it was unbelievable. I mean, I can, you can almost remember standing on that field and looking up at that, at that long room and yeah. the, the Firestone Pavilion and yeah. seeing the people were almost falling out of, the, <laughs> out of those boxes. They were so happy, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me, yeah, there's all, there is that personal side, but yeah. definitely... I still think the highlight in my whole career yeah. was, you know, winning the, the, the team, carry right. gap for these guys, you know, it was just unbelievable times. Yeah. And Clive? Yeah, I must say, it, it also, you know, evolved to that point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was like a build-up, and starting off in a very amateur career, and then yeah. going through this transition with Kepa, I, yeah. I mean, the discipline, and, um, you know, the whole, you know, the chapters you've known about the training, yeah. but at the end of the day, I think it pulled him through. Yeah, you know, yeah. It was most probably the fittest. I can't remember you getting put in a hangar. I, I was just thinking the other day, <laughs> did we have any injuries in that season? <laughs> but, but, yeah, you know, right. the, the, the chaps were fit. Yeah, yeah. And it, it, in that final game, I was 12th. Yeah. And I used to enjoy fielding. I, was, I would have loved to have gone on the field and f- fielded, but then no yeah. one came off. <laughs> everyone, was, everyone was committed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they feel it for three days yeah. after making the yeah. yeah. fourth score. Yeah. 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 I wish yeah. I'd made it into the third yeah. game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think, I think you just that before in other games. Right? <laughs> but you didn't do much anyway. Uh, you were just standing there. Yeah. So. The sports yeah. of my course will answer with anywhere to be seen. So, yeah. <laughs> so that, you know, those, were, those were really fun days. Yeah. Yeah. It's exciting. And yeah. yeah. And, and, and I, I mean, Flum, and I, 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 I remember balls going over the, when I came to, when I remember you because I remember the balls going over the flipping press, the villain. <laughs> what, what, what are your highlights, though? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, the, the team, I, I, okay, I, we say, uh, yeah, no, yeah. 100%. I yeah. mean, you know, everyone has said it, but I think yeah. the Curry Cup for me, you know, yeah. I wasn't uh, lucky enough to play international cricket, so yeah. Yeah. obviously that was as good as it could get for yeah. me, so yeah. there's, there's no doubt about it. Um, I mean, you're talking about balls flying out of the. Uh, out of the yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't think it was quite like that. I mean, uh, oh, I, I wasn't in there for too long. I mean, I remember quickly getting the story. I think my, my dad on the farm was, was, was phoned in one day. I think it was a night game or a one day game. And yeah. uh, I phoned quickly because, as Rod said, you know, seven years in a big comp. You know, probably phoning about my, my my results. Thank goodness my kids are a bit more conscientious. Than I am. But um, and uh, I remember my dad phoned Quirky probably to discuss that and say, "Listen, you're wasting the varsity's time and money and my money. You know, let me come back to the farm." And uh, Quirky said, and my dad said to Quirky, "Listen, are you near?" Flop? He says, "Yeah, no, no, we are. We're at the cricket ground." He says, "Can I chat to you?" He says, "No, but we're actually playing against." Let's say Western Province or anything. Yeah. He's bad. He said, "Don't worry, I'll, I'll hang on." <laughs> <laughs> he won't be longer, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, that's just you 
telling me I'm in the yeah. walls of the park, so yeah. I wasn't yeah. in there for too long. Eh? But I had fun while well doing it, so yeah. Um, yeah, but I mean, that's as I said, I didn't have on uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you know, as I think Keller sort of referred to, you know, those are sort of personal little things, but I mean, yeah, that's that's a, a, as a main thing, I mean, that was the highest yeah. I could do. Or they had a chief or playing a prop provincial. Pops, do you know about 100 on Dirty? Uh, and Kellers. But uh, from your side, it's Stinted Creek. Yeah, Larry, 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 is there? Larry! What's the question? They want to ask you a question, Larry. I'm not sure what it is. What is yeah. What's your highlight, Hobbes? Oh, the highlight. Yes, the highlight. Oh, colours. We were all there. That Curry Cup final would have been the highlight. Yeah. Plum, plum diving on the pitch twice to catch Clive Rice. Hey, yo. And the rest of the uh, day. Diving out the way, although the way Larry to laptop Larry. Larry, can I tell you your figures for the game or do you remember them? <coughs> oh, well, it doesn't matter. We got one wicket on the last half and it was Clive Rice, so that was alright. Yeah. In, in the first innings, you must have got the last wicket because you bowled 33.3 overs. Nine main innings, three for 65. Wow. Yeah. 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 And in the second innings, you bowled 35 overs, 10 main innings, one for 80, 81. Yeah. It was Rassi. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. one wicket. Was, was it Rassi the, the one wicket in the second yeah. innings? No, you got him out twice. You did no, both times, No, no, you got him out in the second innings. And Same with Chris Stegman. Caught Michael and Bill Hobson. First innings. All right. Good to get you. Caught Michael and Bill Hobson. 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 Caught Michael and well, I think that that's a good that's a good spot. Thank you, Larry. That's a good spot to, to wrap it up, guys. And thank you so much for all of you for coming in. It's been absolutely incredible, actually, <laughs> to have all of you in one spot um, drinking all my beers. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> and uh, thank you, Larry, for coming on. Uh, like I see Lloyd Hobson here saying uh, this group of players is the reason many of my generation played the ropes. Probably growing up and watching them. Jesus, Gellers talk on the ropes. Fires and stuff. Paul Raymond saying fires in cyclopedia. Peter, you're yes. so right. I think he makes all this stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> David Al. David, David Al. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you, David. Fantastic. Peter Martin saying how's it going? David, David Al and Kenny, I think, finished their careers together. For Border, yeah. Peter Martin, Martin, Peter Martin, Peter Martin opened Peter the batting for Province. For for oh, Peter yes, Martin, here we go. Opening batsman for Province as well, here. Uh, a brilliant chat, guys. Regards to you all. There we go. Uh, Ian Mitchell saying, Fires is the legend that always... But it's always putting great events together. I <laughs> think, yeah, absolutely. It says, it's fires, it's still got a fire in his. Uh, tell in his tell Rich, I didn't put it together. Gary Hemmings and you put it together. No, <laughs> we just rocked up here. You know, fires has got its full of energy. He's still got the, he's still got always what it takes here. Yeah. Uh, this is so important. Thank you so much. Paul Raymond saying, Kenny, regards. Uh, thanks for your cousin, Ms. Scott from Doncaster. Oh, there we go. Mr. You know, Scott from Darkestan. Right. <laughs> 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 Ian Mitchell made a shipload of runs at school and then left school, but in the SA school side and apparently made five ducks in a row. They called him Audi. <laughs> 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 the rings. You are such a great man. You are cup saying, how's it? Flung, you got the tour to India. Went to the bar, man. Here we go. Dennis Karanjas. The Greeks are in the house. So they don't make them like this anymore. Thanks, man. Thanks, Dennis. Garth Webster, there we go. There's Garth Webster. Garth Webster. Sam Salubrious Show. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. It's been a brilliant show. Super entertaining. Thank you, Kevin. It's been fantastic. <coughs> Lizette Howells has got a show. Love you, man. Thank you, Lizette. Thanks for joining us as well. Uh, see, uh, Lloyd Hobson saying, Curtis. <laughs> Are you still playing? Playing for him! Are you still playing? Playing for him! Just get him in there. Is that Larry's lucky? Yeah. Is yeah. it? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh. Andrew Pedersen. Right. Thank oh, you, Benny. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Michael Killen, there's, uh, thank you, Michael. And uh, Brian Wilkinson, one of our regulars as well. Rory Norton saying, how's it too? Uh, fantastic show. Thank you very much, Rory. And, uh, and Fernando, I uh, see there. Uh, Rob Taylor too. He's on the radio. Rob's on the radio. Uh, Brendan Kelly, thanks. Brendan, let me know when, you, when you're off again so I can go and visit Michelle. Cheers for that, Bob. 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 such a star. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, thank, you, thank you. But thank you to all of you. Thank you so much for joining us on the on this show. It's been fantastic. We have a competition now that we're going to do. I think uh, Gary's going to do it. Uh, we're gonna, we've got a, a roller coaster thing where Gary Lebrain from, from Fitch and Leeds gives away a case of Fitch and Leeds to somebody that's watching. So one of you guys is going to win. Let's check it out. Richie. Is it your See food? Are you going to win? It's lying here. Let's get it. Let's get it. It's Ray Rode Panaki. Oh, Ray Rode. <laughs> Ray the Fisherman. Excellent, Ray. You won a case of pitch of needs. We'll get it to you. And you know, Wendy will be in touch with you and you can get your address and we'll send it to you. But thank you all of you guys. I think you can give each other a round of applause. Thank you. 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 Thank there we go. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Let's put it camera one there, Gary. Thank you guys. Thank you. We'll see you there. Thank you, Bruno. We've got to finish some beers here now with these guys. Also, obviously, thank you to our sponsors, Spa and Fitch and Leeds, and of course, Amobia, our internet provider. But Spa, thank you, always. And special thanks to Grace for our lovely food tonight. We've been chowing down. We've been chowing down. Relax, sit down. Coming out of PE town. Drink, find the shot. Never mind your liver. Get to Gino's spot. Gino's spot. Get to Gino's spot. Have a laugh, have a giggle, and exercise your middle. Have a Gino shot. Gino shot. Get to Gino spot. Gino spot. Get to Gino spot. Gino spot. Have a laugh.